didn't even pop out my chat yet. Yeah, it's 404 and we are live. I didn't realize it was 404. Hello. 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 These pop-up auctions are hard to do in the middle of the afternoon, but they're fun. Oh, there's my notification. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. T, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> and Chris, are you are you right. you're I'm well? feeling like a giveaway is what I'm feeling like. All right. So Chris the Goose has generously decided to give away some survival boxes. I'm so excited about it. Chris, thank you so much for doing that for, for us. So so we're gonna be giving away five boxes during this presentation. And then we're going to give away five boxes on T's auction tonight, which starts at 7 um, Eastern time on her channel. And then we're going to be going over to Bolo Buddies to watch Courtney. And then at 1130, we're going to all head over to Robin's channel. And Chris is going to give away two more boxes on Robin's channel. So... The boxes have, if you guys saw my thumbnail, they have a combination of, Chris is just going to decide what he's going to put in there. There's disinfectant, there's masks, there's um, uh, aloe vera gel, there's soap, antibacterial soap, there's um, like a- Baby wipes. And baby some. wipes. Just, uh, just a whole bunch of like interesting stuff. And- um, yeah, it's really exciting. So Chris is generously, uh, so this is some of the stuff that he sells online and he's selling it like crazy. So he's decided to give back. Help out the reselling community and give give some away that uh, hopefully y'all can use, your family can use and, uh, you know, give away to, if you can't use it yourself, you can give it away to family or friends. So yeah, just want to help everybody out and have some fun. We're going to do it in my number uh, giveaway and tease, keeping a close watch on anybody new who needs a number. And we can go over that. Um, the rule is, is that you do have to be present in order to receive the giveaway box. And this is, this is my recommendation and my suggestion. Chris said, absolutely not, but I'm kind of like hoping that whoever, um, does win the box that you'll at least cover shipping for Chris because he's generously given you a box filled with all kinds of great stuff that is so hard to find in the supermarkets. So it's a medium flat rate box. So $15 shipping donation back to Chris would be great. I would really, really appreciate it. And if anybody wants to pay it forward even and pay for someone else's box, I mean, you guys decide, you know, it's all about paying it forward right now and helping our fellow man. <clears throat> And I think that this is awesome that Chris has done that. And Chris, if you can drop your link to your PayPal account, and I think it's okay to send it for friends and family because it's, uh, well, it, I don't know, goods and services. I think it's okay. What do you think? It's up to you, Chris, if you want it as friends and family, or if you want it as goods and well, services. Well, technically they're not paying for it so they can do friends and family. You know, they're not paying for it. So the problem with that though, just an FYI is then Chris doesn't get your information because there's no shipping information in there. What I'll do is put my email in, and then if you wish to donate, uh, just send me an email, and then I will send the PayPal. Okay, that. that works. But not necessary by any means. Okay, that works. That's perfect. Um, so let's welcome in some people. We have 55 people in the chat. So let's see who's here. Let's see what friends, Cajun Resello, hello, Chris. Hit the like button. Yes, please hit the like button. And Deb, so nice to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. Welcome. Hi, Deb. And Pat, hello. hello Pat. Hi, Pat. And Lynn, Lacinda, I almost said Linda. Lacinda, <laughs> hi, honey. Let's see, Robin is trying to get watch hours, so I have her playing in the background. Awesome, Lucinda. Thank you so much. Mimi Resells, thank you for coming. Welcome. Welcome, Michael. Thank you for being here. Beautiful Christine V. Hi, honey. Thank you for being here. And there she is, the troublemaker. The troublemaker. You just wait and see. You just wait and see. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I think I have to just... No comments. <laughs> I was 
like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Peace out. I'm gone. Uh, let's see. What is, I feel like I've been out drinking all night last night. I stayed up way too late. Yeah, not as late as these kids did. <laughs> I bowed out at, what, four? I was like, see ya. Yeah, these kids were up really late. Connie, hello, Connie. Thank you for being here. And is Chris the Goose? Let's see. My, my uh, notifications must have went out. My my chat just skipped. Okay, there's Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Thank you for being here, sweetheart. Um, let's see if I missed anybody. Lisa C., hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's nice to see you. Very nice to see you. And um, Don the Bargain Hunter, I hope you're feeling well today. Hey, Don. You lots of love and um, caring thoughts. And Penny Day, hello, honey. Thank you for being here. Susan Arrington, all of our friends are here. Look at this. Everybody's here. Leanne, some things for you. Hey, Leanne, thank you for being here. <clears throat> Eddie Webb, Ronnie G. It's about to get real. It sure is about to get real. Awesome. You guys are great. Thanks for com coming in, coming back, hanging out. I couldn't believe at 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, we had how many people still in the chat? Oh my God, it was so crazy. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh. If you guys haven't seen that, you guys got to go watch it. It was on T's channel. Yeah. yeah it was on T's channel. And um, at one point, I, I couldn't even catch my breath. I was I was laughing so hard. I was crying, literally crying. Claudia, hello. Claudia. It's Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> it's Claudia as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to say it with my Italian accent. <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> and there's Nancy. Thank you, Nancy and Shane. Hi. And yeah, this is great. Look at And Jill. Hi, Jill. Um, the Crafty Hen House. Hello. And Jenea. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, the Crafty Hen House is asking for a wrench. Yes, she'll get you wrenched as soon as we finish the stream yard. 64. Hello. The year I was born. And Gina and Cha Cha and April. All right, you guys. Thanks for, for being here. Kathy Ward. Hello. Hey, Kathy. And Ken. Hey, Ken. Super chat from June Lowenberger. Oh, June, you're awesome. Thank you, sweetheart. You are such, you are so awesome. Always, always a kind word out of your mouth. Always. I know. She's so wonderful. Always, always, always a kind word and, and an encouraging word. And just you, you honestly, June, you make me feel like a superstar. You always, you, you do that for me. Thank you so much. And Kay Flanagan, hello. Thank you. And Victoria, thank you for being here. And Mr. Ken Ward, I'm so happy that you're here. And Ken, I, I know I say it every time. I'm like a broken record, but I love that picture of you. I just do. I think it's very awesome. distinguished looking. Yes. I love that picture of Ken Ward. It is just awesome. And then we have Anne Marie in Omaha. Hello. And Polgara. Hi, Polgara. <clears throat> I'm not here. I'm a figment of your imagination. Okay. Uh, uh, that works for us today. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, my son. He's so sweet. Mm. Wow, hot, hot, hot. Says, how are you feeling today? See, you look rested. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm more, I'm well rested. Thanks. <sighs> Tiffany's cool finds. You guys don't forget. Come back to T's channel tonight. Tiffany will be on. And she will be doing um, five more giveaways um, when she comes on. And how are you doing with the list, T? Um, I, I'm ready to take anybody who needs a number. Okay, let me get some numbers. Um, we left off at 180. So we, we should be starting with 181. I've got 181. Can someone drop the registration link? Uh, oh, absolutely. Okay, we're, we are going to spend just a few minutes, you guys, uh, just organizing ourselves. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. We've decided, after watching so many shows and even trying it ourselves, that the random number picker always tends to pick numbers that are low. And we are at 181 
um, entries, and we found that it never goes up in the hundreds. So we are doing it. Or if it does, it sticks there, and it sticks around 10 numbers. It's weird, but yeah, it does. we're doing it the old-fashioned way. Everybody's number's in this box. I'm going to get a hat or a basket to put And them. also, after last night, just so you guys know, um, at least on my giveaways, it's up to Donna what Donna wants to do, and I've posted rules in my giveaways <clears throat> from now on, you have to be present to win because Chris came in last night and graciously um, wanted to give some giveaways for people who were hanging with us to like two, three o'clock in the morning. And we kind of said, it's only the people that are here. I've already been called out on it. I broke the rules, but I broke the rules because <clears throat> we could have ended the, <clears throat> excuse me, we could have ended the stream and started a whole new one because we were really just hanging out at that point. We weren't really auctioning and and uh, he was like, ah, oh, let's do some more giveaways. So everybody who we did a giveaway for that was intended for the show, we gave whether they were present or not. But here on forward, we're just going to do it. Basically, you have to be present for any giveaway. It's just, it's been fair. We had people hang out with us like seven hours last night. So there's my speech. Yeah, that was fun. And uh, Granny Doe, that link that I dropped was just an email. That is not the PayPal. So uh, if anyone wants to email me, then we will privately show the PayPal. You don't want to Add put it. your PayPal on the stream yard? <laughs> Carlton, I do not stop. <laughs> it's not, it won't, nothing will happen to it. Like they can't hack into it or anything in case somebody. All right. Well, I was just saying, you know, in case somebody wanted to make a donation. Okay. Who do you have that's registered? Is Carlton Anderson registered? Um, <laughs> no, and, and I just said to Carlton, no, I don't have it. I'm here coughing. He's like, oh, no, Miss T, you have it. I'm like, no, I don't. I don't think Carlton's registered um, unless he sent me an email within the last few minutes. And then you have the Crafty Hen House. Oh, you have to wrench her. She did register last night, Donna. Um And then Anne Marie in Omaha, Fredericks. Sarah Walton. If you could, if Omaha can make a comment so I don't have to go looking for it, whoever has sent in a registration and needs a number, make a comment so that we can get you on the list because right from the get-go, we're going to do our first giveaway as soon as we uh, decide that we have enough people um, signed up. Candace Allen says she needs a number, please. So if you have been, see if Allen has a number. It's all affable. Apple, apple, Affable, affable, Aff applicable, applicable, yeah. affable, affable, um, I, can't say it. <laughs> I can't say it. It's the alphabet and it's an order. It's alphabetized. I can't say it. Help me say it. You guys don't have to register. It's completely up to you. Um, if you want to register and you want to get a number for our auctions, you'll have it for whenever you, whenever you guys come in. Um, we'll drop the link again to register. You need to send the following information. That gives you a wrench that makes you eligible to bid. Um, and that will um, definitely, I think I need a number. Don't remember. Marion, no. no. Marion, I think we gave you one last night, honey. Hello. What are you pointing at, Chris? <laughs> Hello, Argyle. Hi, Miss Donatella. Hi, Hi, T. You look well rested. Thank you. Like you got some extra sleep maybe last night? I did. I did. Yeah, I heard all about it. I know. You went to bed early. I did. I'm well rested too. Okay. So um, Victoria said she sent a number. And if you don't know what your number is, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, we have them all in the list. And Heidi said it, alphabetized. Af alphabetized. The list is alphabetized. alphabetized. Chris, yeah, why and it, and it's, not up, it's yeah. not up to date because you're my friend. Do your numbers help. Alphabetized. Okay. So Peter 
Gothier, Gothier, Gothier. Alphabetized. Alphabetized. Peter, your number is 181. Stop looking at me. Stop <laughs> looking at me. Alphab Donna, 181 is oh, Peter Gathier. Pete Gathier. All right. Donna, repeat after me. You ready? And you have to um you have to give Blackjack Cat a wrench. They did register last night. Alpha? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, baby. Tell the stock guy say hi. Oh. Yeah, Granny has a question. She said, yes. She just said Chazzy says hi. Hi, Chazzy. Oh. <laughs> My new fan. Okay. What am I doing now? I gave Black Jag Cat uh, a wrench. Black Jag, make a um, comment. Make sure I did that. And um, does he get a does he get a number or she get a number? I just want to make sure I didn't give Blackjack had a number last night when they registered. Hold on. No, we'll give him one one eighty two for Blackjack. Granny Doe, I am not sure on that. I do not. Have Great that, job, Chris. I said, you know, I'll just to pay for shipping for the first package donation. Will you get it? Oh, see, that's so nice. What, who is that? So she's she's paying for uh, someone who's going to get the first. Um, see, people pay it forward on this channel all the time. That's awesome. Okay. I will check, Granny, though. I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. What about. Lenar, Lanier Jackson, how do you pronounce yeah, that? Yeah, she did register way, way, way back when. We haven't seen her in a while. I don't think we were even doing numbers at that point. And Donna Chavit said it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Donna. Happy birthday to you. Go ahead. Happy birthday hey, to you. You look like a monkey. And you smell like one, too. <laughs> Great. Glad this is your channel, Donna. <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Um, I bet that's the first time she ever had a sock singer happy birthday. Right? Definitely the first time. Okay. Uh, let's get this show on the road. Nobody else needs numbers. Everybody here, 75 people. Everybody's got numbers. Nobody else wants to register and get a number for... We're going to be giving away the first giveaway. Hello, Misha Renee. Hello, Hot Mess Thrifter. Hello, hello. I need a number. Candace Allen needs a number. She's wrenched. Did you check to see if Candace has a number? We do need to give Can Candace Allen a, a number. So let's give her 183. 183. Uh, that was the other one I was looking for because I feel like she's been with us since we were doing numbers, but maybe we missed her. Candace Allen, anybody else speak up now? Hello, Texas Val. Lisa Schoenberger, you have a number, honey. I'll tell you what it is. Um, Sarah. 100. Your number is 100, Lisa. Okay, Sarah Walton. And like I said before, you guys don't have to remember your numbers. Victoria needs a number. I would love a number. CCC. Um, you have to register, you guys, if you want numbers. Yeah, you got to be registered for the auction, guys. And when she gets your email, just to make sure that the reason why we're asking for registrations is because it tells us that you're a real person. And then that way in the future, if you ever want to um, buy from us, because people go around, hello, Brad, let's get this party started. Right, Victoria gets number 184, Victoria Roman Carter, 184. Victoria Roman Carter. All right, Victoria, 184. You don't have to remember it. We have it. This is story of a lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Brad Voigt. Brad Voigt, your number is 66. Route 66. Okay, Lenar Lenar Jackson. Oh, that's right, Lenar. Give Lenar 185, and you can give her a wrench. She's definitely registered with me. She registered, like, when we first started. Okay, so it's L. 
L N A R and last name Jackson. 185. Where have you been, girl? You haven't been coming by for our auctions. We miss you. Yeah, don't you guys don't ever feel like you know you can't come by just to hang out. We have a really good time. You know, we you don't have to buy anything, just just you hanging out with us is is plenty. Um, Frank Lloyd, Frank Boyd. Can I have a number? I sent the registration. Frank Boyd should be number 186. Frank, honey, I don't have a registration for you. Did you just send it or did you send it at a previous time? Carlton needs a vacation. That's why I'm here, relaxing and laughing with everyone. Thank you, Carlton. I appreciate you being here. That's awesome. Okay, we're looking for Frank Boyd, and I think we're going to cut it there. Yeah. Um, CCC, did we uh, don't have a registration from CCC? No. Okay. And here's Lisa's Treasures. Hello, Lisa. Chris, how can we send... All right, I got Frank's. Frank's came in. All right, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Okay, you got Frank. I'm going to add him as a moderator, and Frank's number is going to be 186. 186, yep. Frank Boyd, thank you, Frank. You are now registered for any giveaways that we do on this channel. And we have your address, so we know where to send it, whether it's me, T, or... Actually, he didn't include his address, Frank. You might want to do that in case you win. We'll need that to give it you your giveaway. Oh, wow. He went to... Um, Don went to the paper mill today to get some toilet paper. I'm good now. Two cases. Awesome. Good thinking. Um, Lisa's Treasure says you have my information. Is Lisa wrenched on your channel? And do you have Lisa, yeah. Lisa is. Absolutely. Okay, let me wrench her on this. And do you have her as... Um... Uh, you know what? She went and changed her name somewhere along the way. Uh, Lisa, just refresh my memory what you were before because I think I have you under a different um, name. 81 people in the chat this afternoon. Thank you, you guys, to everyone for being here. Appreciate it. CCC registered. All right. Lisa Young is her name. Okay, yeah. And CCC, and that's it. We're going to cut it. Hello, beautiful Joy Munkin. Hi, everyone. I'm here, but not going. Did we get Sarah Walton? Did we get Sarah Walton? Putting my oh, no, Joy. That's horrible. Sleep. I'm so upset. I'm sorry, Joy. Oh. It's very hard when we have to do that to a fur baby. Aw, oh, Joy. Sorry, honey. Sorry, Joy. Sending you love, honey. Um, Did you give Sarah Walton 187? Nope. What is it? Sarah Walton? Yes. Okay. All right. This is the last time I'm looking now. <laughs> All right. That's it. I thank thank that's you, it. Frank. Thank you, Frank. Frank sent this. CCC um, did register. So let's make sure that CCC. Welcome back, Chris. Welcome back. All right, y'all want to do one at the beginning, and then I need to run to the post office so we can do a little break, and then one when I get back. And then you can come back, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So we got everybody. We're at the cutoff of uh, numbers. For this afternoon, yes, I believe we do. Okay, let's do that first box that was in the preview picture. Okay, let me just um, wrench some of these people. Sarah Walton needs a wrench. Carlton Anderson needs a wrench. Or it was on the uh, thumbnail. Right. Unknown caller. That was awkward. <laughs> Lisa's treasures needs a wrench. We didn't get Lisa a number either. I don't have it under Lisa Young. So let's give her 188. 188, Lisa. Yep. Lisa's treasures. All right, Lisa, you're number 188. Um, Sergeant Spork, where have you been? Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for coming in. Good to see you. Hi, 
Oh, okay. you mean 189, honey? 180. Oh, wait. Do I, um, did I give you a different number? Hold on. Wait, don't put Janine. Wait, let me just see. CCC something. needs a number. All right. Janine 189, CCC 190. Janine is 189. <laughs> Argyle. Abraham has a I don't know if I have an email from CCC, though. I'll just tell you that. Did you get one? CC no, my, my phone's plugged in. I don't have it here. Sorry, Chris. Number. Chris, I'm sorry. You got interrupted. What were you saying? Oh, CC was saying CC Crawford. Is, I guess, her name. Crawford is the name, too. All right, we're going to get started. 91 people in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Chris, the original. Lot. Let's go. Number you. one giveaway. Let's go. Carmen Gonzalez is here. Hello, Carmen. Thank you for coming. Abraham, thank you for coming. Wynette, thank you for coming. She says, thank you, Chris the Goose, for donating the stuff for the for the give always very generous of you. He is probably one of the most generous people I, I know. He's awesome. Yes. Um, yep. Tracy, okay, we're gonna, <laughs> are we cutting it off? Hopefully y'all can mute Because Chris has to go. So let's cut it off for now. Whoever's registered, yep. is registered. If we can add some numbers later on, we will. Okay. So the first, the first box is going to go to and the shipping is paid for correct yes yep the shipping is paid for you checked and see and that's what's in the box and here we go and the first number is One twenty-four. One twenty-four. number 124 Thank you. Oh my gosh, God bless you. Wow. She, she exaggerates a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> Stop embarrassing her, Mom. I'm not embarrassing her. It's the way she is. You heard her burp the other day. Uh, 124 is flathead catfish, and I have not seen flathead catfish in months. Flat. Next. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him in another chat. Flathead catfish. Um, he was in. Um, he was in somebody's chat. I saw him somewhere. Okay, that number goes there. We're gonna pull another number. Hey, Anita. He's been around. Hi, Anita. Okay, let's see. The next one is one eighteen. Thank you. Argyle. Thank you, Argyle. Thank you for helping. He was in uh, Desert Hunters last night, Carlton says. Yeah, he's been around. Tracy, we're going to drop the link. Um, um, Hot Miss Thrifter, we will look and see if you have a number. She's looking up 118 right now. Anita Ross. Anita Ross. Uh, there she is, Anita Ross. Yeah. She just said, how is everyone? Hello, hello. Congratulations, Anita. Congratulations, Anita. You get, Anita Ross. Yep, you get the first box. And Yay. it is a free shipping has been paid. Complimentary from, um, who was it that, that wrote in the chat? Granny Doe. Granny Doe. Granny Doe paid the shipping on your box. So thank you so much, Granny Doe. So very generous of you. Way to go, Granny Doe. Congratulations, Anita Ross. That was awesome. See, that it was only two tries. Okay, so we have four more boxes and to give away. T is going to send me all the shipping information. So yes. you don't have to send me anything. 
Chris, thank you so much. Okay, you I'll, be back. I'm gonna the post office. I'll be right back. Okay. okay, awesome. All right, thank you. All right. So we're gonna start the auction. Then when Chris gets back, we'll do another one. And we've got four more to give away here now. And then back on my channel at 7 p.m., make sure you guys are subbed and you come over, put your notifications on uh, for me. I'm gonna drop the registration link also in the chat. And then we'll give five more away. Then we're going to go over to Because She Shed, Robin's channel, after Bolo Buddies at 10. Bolo's on from 10 to 11.20-ish usually. So at 11.30, we're going to go live on Robin's channel, and she's going to give more. Chris is going to do some giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway. I want everybody to come over to Robin's channel because Robin needs the watch hours. Guys, even if you're thinking about going to sleep or if you're thinking about laying down just play it on low. Put your he headphones in, something, but she needs the watch hours. Just don't mute your YouTube or it doesn't count. Leave your laptop on your, you know, kitchen table and just play it while you go to sleep even. But she needs the watch hours, so please, I'm going to beg everybody, 1130. I know it's late for some people. It's 830 Pacific, so I expect to see all our, e our West Coast folks over there. All right, so I appreciate it. And, guys, I am so close to 1,000. If I could get there in the next day or two, we're going to have a big, big giveaway. So hey, help us out. So I just want to say something um, before we start the arc, the auction. Um, Argyle won't be able to make it on Robin's channel tonight. No. We were, no, we were talking privately. Oh, why not, Argyle? We were talking privately, and she has a previous engagement, so she's I not going to be there. She Aww. died. Do you, do you want to tell everybody where you're going to be tonight, why you can't be there? I'd rather not. Thank you, you Colton. Thank you, honey. You got what? I'd rather not say. You'd, no. you'd rather not say? No. Yeah. yeah. She's got to run. Okay. She's got to run. Yeah. It's in socks. It does. It does. She's got to run. Not in your socks. <laughs> I don't wear socks. I sell socks. <laughs> I sell <laughs> I hey, Lori and Brandon. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, Lori and Brandon. I sell a lot of socks. Yeah, I'm very well aware. I know you sell my favorite. I sell okay. a lot of socks. I don't know. It's funny how you came into my life and I sell socks, like so many socks. Yeah, the irony. Yes, the irony. Yes, it is. Okay. We are, are you going to auction off some stuff? Did you get some lots ready? I Miss really me? didn't. Well, you better. I'll dig. I'll dig a couple of things out. I will dig a couple of things out. I have some books and um, I have some albums. I have a few things around. I can grab some CDs, some necklaces, okay. something. But you go ahead and um, let's start with this. Bam! Twenty-five dollars shipped. You can put yourself on solo. Okay. Oh, Look at all those necklaces. <laughs> Twenty-five dollars shipped, you guys, for all these bracelets. Twenty-five dollars shipped. All right. So lot number one, we're gonna start off at twenty-five dollars shipped. And Michelle starts us off at 25. Hello, Michelle O. That damn suck. It's too much attention. <laughs> 27 <laughs> now from Don L. <laughs> Thank you, Don. No, honey. Sylvia, just refresh, hon. Tammy's in at 30. Michelle O at 32. Tammy now at 35. So funny. I was watching Laurie and Brandon's auction the other night. Um, that's, uh, you guys, that's Desert Hunters. They do auctions. Laurie, tell me what nights you do auctions on, because I should know and I don't. Is it Sunday? Do it Sunday, 2.30 uh, Pacific time. Okay, yeah. So um, I popped in there. Uh, it was like in between our auctions, because I have two on Sundays, and it's in between my auctions and and their uh, phone service went out. And so she goes, 
she Brandon handed her something and she goes, I'm going to do it Donna style. <laughs> 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 and so I've been thinking that as I hold this up, this is Donna's style. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Don says he's out. We have Tammy at 35 who wants to go 37. Guys, just want to remind everybody, please hit the three dots next to everybody's name and subscribe. We've got some great channels in here, some great content creators, and some people that are real close to a thousand. Hint, hint, <laughs> yours truly. So please go ahead and um, do that. Um, we really appreciate it. And we have, let's see, Tammy. Tammy at 35. We're going to go once to Tammy. Lot number one. Yes, yeah. guys. See, Cha Cha is it, the, the Junkin' Data Girl. She's three away from 3,000. So let's let's make sure we're sharing the love. Just hit the three dots next to anybody's name. If you're on a laptop or a computer, if you're on your phone, you actually just um, hit their logo and it'll take you over to their channel. Both will open up a new window so you won't lose us. Any plush coming later, Chris is asking. I've got a plush lot coming up right now. Chris, I went to my supplier this morning, which is why I haven't gotten my shipping out, you guys. I was at my supplier all morning because I called him, and guess what? They may be closing. So I went, and I just bought so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, the thrift store is by us. So somebody said they were closing. So a lot of the stuff I got is um, shelf pulls, really beautiful, clean, gorgeous plush. And I'll go get a lot right now. And congratulations, Tammy, on the beautiful bracelets. Um, yeah, they're gorgeous. And I'll be right back. All right. We are sold to Tammy. The necklaces. The $35. Yes, Argyle, those would be great necklaces for you. Yeah. I have a nice little necklace for you, Argyle. Let me see. I might have something here for you. I never know. Okay, you're going to be just as surprised as I am because I have no idea what's in these bags. My daughter, I came in with big, huge, enormous garbage bags, and she put them together. So, All right, April's the counter today. She's here, she says, and ready to count. Okay, this first one is called Pierre Labert. And it is a the, Bar the Barrington collection is what it says. Pierre the Bear. And he's got a cute little palette. <laughs> he's got his tags on him. And a cute little he's an artist. He's an artist, yes. And he is, I guess, yep, he's posable. He's posable. And um, Pierre the Bear. Cute, right? Okay. Very cute. That's number one. Number two is a Wells Fargo, 160 years of service. Wells Fargo. I had a whole bunch of black ones like these. I had like 25 of them. I sold every single one of them. This one is We Save Species, National Zoo of Washington, D.C., and it is a wild republic. Great name, and it's an awesome elephant. This one is definitely a shelf pull. He is like brand new. Uh, the next one is called, it's Prestigious Toy Corporation. It kind of looks like a knockoff of um, a pound puppy. Um, but it's called Prestigious Toy Corporation. I don't really know that that company. Here is an Amco Springfield. Um, oh, you know what? I posted a really nice story. Does anybody belong to um, Humans of New York? Is that the name of the website? Do you know it, T? I don't, no. Humans of New York? You know, you know how I'm always taught? Oh, I don't have my phone. You know, oh, okay, this is this one here. He's really cute. You know how I always talk about how just because to you it looks like like something like this looks like nothing to you, 
but to someone else, it's, you know. It could oh, I saw that post you put up today. Yeah. You put, where did you drop that? I saw that drop a link. I dropped it in. Um, or did you put it in my group? I you saw it somewhere. I think I put it in your group. Cause it was so interesting. Cause it's something that I always talk about. Right. And so basically it's, um, I was going to read it to you, but basically it's a story of this little girl who her and her mother went to a hotel when she was a little girl and, and her life was really, really tough. And, um, they went out and housekeeping came in and she left her, what was it? A, it was a, a puppy. It was a puppy, um, in the hotel room and housekeeping. That was a very nice story. Kathy Ward says, yeah, housekeeping, um, must've thrown away her stuffed animal. And she was devastated as a little girl, like she's little, like three, four years old or something, five, six, who knows? I don't even know if they said the age anyway. So the mother has spent her entire life looking for this stuffed animal and she finally found it. She found the stuffed animal. So that's why it was a duck. Yes, Pete. Yes, it was a duck. It was a duck. Yes. See, they saw the, the same story. So that's why I'm always saying to you, like something like this means nothing to you, but to someone, this is like the whole world. So don't be afraid like to post something that you know, may not be like Disney or Nickelodeon or, you know, one of those big, um, because like, you know, and here's another one is just a little. Yeah. Cha-Cha says there's a site where people look for plush. Oh yeah. I know it. There is a site. There's also a site. This is a dandy. Do they is have a site for missing socks? <laughs> they should, Argyle. They should. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. This one, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Let's see what this one is. Starbucks, Starbucks Coffee Company. Look at how cute. Oh. <laughs> He's got the, the thing, the carrot tied on. Starbucks has a nice following. Um, Starbucks can have, um, um, St Starbucks toys can be expensive. This one is a TY and it's one of those. Connie, um, we have Pat already in at 25. Would you like to go 27? Here's a Reese's. It's a... Uh, like a um, Kathy Ward is now a 27 Tiger and um, here's a baby gund like this is a perfect example like this this baby gund like somebody may have gotten this this is a perfect example of that story I was just talking about they may have got it at birth and their child misplaced it and you know where are you going to turn to find plush that is it, you know is out of circulation Oh, Argyle, Penny Day says that she has two baskets of your friends that have lost their mates. Oh. This is tragic. <laughs> this is Adventure Aquarium, and it's a uh, a real happy shark. <laughs> Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, CCC says, my little daughter left one in a hotel in New Orleans, and I called the hotel, and they actually kept it at the desk till... Her, her husband was close by two weeks later on a business trip. Oh, that's awesome. That was good. And this is a Build-A-Bear. This is a Build-A-Bear. And let's see, there's one more in here. 31 now from Kathy Ward. And this is a dandy, it's a dandy duck. It's a that's bit. not funny, Kim. So that's the whole bag. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oops, I've got someone sitting on the. What just happened? I don't know what happened, but while while we're waiting for Donna to return, um, Argyle, I've been asked to share this with you. Well, today is all about sharing. Can you see? I don't see anything. Miss Donna Tella has to do it. Oh, Donna has to approve it. Okay, sorry. Okay, so seven. Oops, it happened again. Something's on the keyboard. Eight. When you get a chance, just share the screen there for or somebody sent something to Argyle. Okay. Nine. Ten. Eleven. April says 14. Oh. 
Yeah, I like that. I don't know what he was saying. Not about Reese's. I heard the Reese's part. I have no idea. Okay, I have to close this out. I have no idea how this. Let me see if I close this out. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, All right, we have Kathy Ward at thirty-five. The elephant, and then Pierre the bear. <laughs> I think that's so cute. I heard peanut butter, probably. <laughs> um, All right, so fourteen plus, and we have Kathy Ward at thirty-five. Oh gosh, I wonder if somebody just created that. That's not funny. Look, look, do you see the articles? Okay, so who do you have here? All right, we're going to go once to Kathy Ward at 35. Lot number two, Kathy. Going twice now to Kathy. Fair warning. Last and final call. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Kathy, for $35. $35? Yes, ma'am. And this is for the plush lot number two. $35 to Kathy Ward. Thank you, Kathy Ward. Thank you so much. All right. I'll show something else. Do you want to go and get something? Do you yeah, I'll go get something. something? Yeah. That okay. Was a bad one. Huh? That was a bad one. <laughs> it wasn't. Here, take this, honey. Take this and put this over in, in the area where all the shipping is. Here, that's way too big. Too big? Yeah, that's way too many. That's how all of them are. All of them are this big? I can't ship out this many. Maybe I can try. It might have to be in two lots. All right, let's see what's in here. Let's see what she put in. I don't here. know if you wrench CCC or triple C, as she says people call her, or um, CC Spacey <laughs> or CC Crawford, but uh, she's good. She's registered. So I'm not sure if you um, also World Rewind is also. Um, Did registered. you give them a number for the giveaway? I will give both of them a number. CCC, I gave 190, and World Rewind will now have 191. CCC is 190, and the next one is. I don't see. I don't see it. Can you make a comment? Who's who is it? World Rewind. World. Can you make a, a comment, World Rewind, so I can wrench you? I like big lots, Pete says. Okay. I like big lots and I can't lie. Okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this is a big one. So let's see. This is a DD and and it says Tiamo on it. And... This is a little Twizzlers little girl. She's so cute. Let's see what it says on it. Um, the petting zoo. It's Twizzlers. Hi, Courtney. It's very cute. You guys, Courtney Bellow Bodies right there. That's what we were talking about. We're going to be on her channel tonight um, here at, at uh, 10 o'clock. Um, not on it. We're going to be watching it. We're all going <laughs> I was going to say, oh, we are? I didn't know. No, no, we're all going over there to watch so after so After my auction tonight at 10, we're going to invite everybody over to Courtney Bolo Buddies. And then uh, then we're going to go all go over to Robbins. So that's the plan. Okay. So Flippin' Adventures has got my package done today, Donna. Thanks. It was really quick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those are few and far between. <laughs> Not sure. Just this just this past two weeks, I haven't been able to catch up, but I'm going to. Okay, this is a Disney plush, and it is a cactus. I don't know from what from what series or anything. This one looks like a vintage. It's a Kenner. It's Care Bear Cousins. It's definitely vintage. Care Bear Cousins. Um, this next one, I showed one of these last night. It's a Disney store. It's like a baby Simba. This is different than the one I had last night. Um, here is a Kohl's Care um, 
Eric something, Eric Carlisle. I don't know. Where's where's zombie bar bar uh Robert Zombie Bargain Hunter? Bar zombie, yeah. Um, this one is because he knows what's the starting date on this one? Lindsay. You're doing 25 on this one too? Yep. This one is Lindsay. All right, this is lot number three, guys. Yep. Get your Easter plush out. People are selling, selling, selling. Oh, this one is. This is uh this is a bolo for sure. This is Sad Sam, and he has a little girlfriend, and her name is Honey. Sad Sam and Honey, but this one is Sad Sam, and he's by a company called Applause. I've sold many applause pieces, and they are definitely a bolo. This one says 25 years, and it's um, 2004. So 1997 to 2004. So he's a, he's a bolo. And then we have a Mary Myers. Here's another bolo. This one says Maine on it, and it's a lobster. Maine lobster. 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 As my... Hello. The vintage pet comes in at 25. This is a shelf pull, and this is strawberry. Um, it is a build a bear, and she is a cute strawberry. This has never been played with. This is a shelf pull, brand, brand new. She doesn't have a talking mechanism, but she's beautiful. She's beautiful. And. Here is um, SpongeBob SquarePants, and this is uh, what's the snail's name? Gary. What is it? Gary. Gary. <laughs> this is Gary. <laughs> Here's Gary. Jesse, I thought you wanted him. No. You sure? Okay. <laughs> she said that she wanted him. She's giving him up. She, I saw her stick it under her arm and go running up the stairs. I'm like, hey, get back here with that. No, no. I know they do it all the time. <laughs> but the good thing is, is they only like keep them for just a, like a few like few days or a week or something, and then they give it back. <laughs> so it just sits on their bed for a while. But here's Homer. And this one I love. This one I saw, and I just love this one. And I don't know what the name is on it. Let me see. It's, I don't know, uh, but we've had some uh, some some wagers here. <laughs> I'm seeing wagers. 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Somebody Doc, is now at 40. You're going to love this one, T. Doc Magic. Wait until you see him. Oh my God, I love it. Awesome. It is awesome. I love it. I should have done him as a one off. He's yeah. Great, right? He is so awesome. Like, I'm always doing the peace sign. That's why I love it. He is adorable. Look at how cute. Oh my God. I know. I love him. He, he's he's super and he's a shelf full. He's yeah, he could go right back here on my shelf with my elephant and my head. Right. I, yeah. I, I meant to pull him. He was really cute. Okay, and here's uh, SpongeBob dressed up for Easter with his Easter eggs, uh, Easter ears. <laughs> so there's SpongeBob. And, you know, guys, I, um, I'm really, really busy, but I am going to offer this service. If you do have uh, grandchildren or a niece or a nephew in another state and you want me to mail something to them since people are having a hard time leaving the house and I do have my shipping supplies and everything ready to go. I know it's adding more on my plate, but I will do that. If you're buying a lot and you want to send a specific piece to someone, I just ask you to cover the shipping on it and I will get it out to whoever you want to send it to. So, um, okay. So here is a, um, a Webkins and it looks like it has the code. I think the code is inside that, that little plastic envelope thing. And here is Super Mario. Here's Super Mario. This is a, another shelf pull, nice and clean. This is a huge lot. I don't think I can ship this out in one lot. And here is, oh my God, this is so funny. SpongeBob. <laughs> really cute. 
Okay, so that's the whole lot. All right, and we now have 44 from the vintage pack. Two, three, four. Did April put a number in? Four, five. This one's awesome. Six. Gary is seven. Strawberry builds a bear. Is he comes in at 46. Now Pat at 48. The lobster is nine. 18 from um, count on April. Nine, 10 is the webkin. Okay. 50 now from Pete. Remember, now we go in $5 increments, everyone. Thank you, Pete. I appreciate it. Pete bought a whole bunch of plush from me. So that just tells me that Pete is very happy with the plush. So thank you. This one might be worth something. Yeah, Pat now at 55. It's definitely vintage. Disney. Pete now at 60. And then Tiamo. Make sure you put um, Italian Tiamo, Italian bear when you put the listing up so that anybody that's looking for anything that's like Italian related will find that bear that says Tiamo on it. All right. We've got a race. 60 from Pete, 65 from Pat, 70 now from Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pat. Pat is out. We'll go once then to Pete at 70. Going twice now to Pete and Blackjack Cat comes in at 75. Oh, thank you, Blackjack Cat. And Pete comes in at 80. I knew that was a good one. <laughs> My daughter's taking credit. I have to pay her. Oh no. <laughs> I think she wants 50%. No. <laughs> she she asked me, she asked me for $10. That's all she asked me for. To sort the plush and bag it and put it all together. 85 now from Blackjack. All right, I'll give you 20. <laughs> uh, negotiations going on in the Bottolino family. Oh my gosh, she's like, I want 85%. <laughs> she's out of her trees. <laughs> yeah, you're 85%. Oh, tell, tell, tell you need 90% for rent, room and board, and meals. <laughs> yeah, your 85% is the food that's in the refrigerator, the air conditioning that you're feeling right now, and the toilet paper that's in the bathroom. There, <laughs> there's our 85%. <laughs> yeah, thank God you have. <laughs> right, thank God you have toilet paper in the bathroom. <laughs> now at 90. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Blackjack. Thank you. Let's get a Benjamin. <gasps> <laughs> the kids love Argyle. <laughs> did, you, did you hear her? <laughs> I heard. <laughs> oh. There's 18 pieces, Blackjack. So, okay, here's the deal. Make it a Benjamin, and I'm going to add... Woohoo! A hundred in the house. A hundred in the house. I'm going to add... Make it 100 and I'm going to add five more surprise pieces to this lot. Shut up, Sock. <laughs> Someone said shut up, Sock? Yes, they did. <laughs> So rude. Oh no, we're gonna have Bo and and, and <laughs> oh, that's Jesse. That's Jesse. 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 Why are you laughing? My feelings are kind of hurt right now. <laughs> One oh five from Black Jack Cat. Mwah, thank you. Put a sock in it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Why add is the audience turning on me. I didn't do anything. Six more pieces. It will be a surprise. I promise they'll be awesome pieces. Tammy, that's where babies come from. <laughs> Please don't be mean to Argyle. <laughs> okay, let's call it. Let's call it. All right, let's go once to Blackjack Cat at 105. Pete's out. So we're going to go twice then. And I appreciate you guys when you do that because that helps us go that much quicker. Last and final call, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. First time winner here, Black Jack Cat. Congratulations. I have 100 people in the chat. I know. Woohoo.
Thank you so much, everyone, for coming out. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Okay, auctions for you. Please go subscribe to, to T if you can, please, everybody. Okay, 105 and to Blackjack. Add six pieces. Uh, T, you want to show something, honey? Are you ready? Sure, why not? Ugh, I'm just trying to grab some. Stuff. Well, I mean, if you weren't up until the wee hours of the morning. Oh, shush you. Jealous. Just saying. I'm just jealous. I'm it's jealous. Not exactly up the entire time. <laughs> uh, put a sock in it there, Argyle. <laughs> yeah, what time there? Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> she likes it or he likes it all right we're gonna get ready to do another giveaway you guys right after t's lot we'll see if chris the goose comes back if not we'll do another giveaway and um yes all right, guys so invoice Yes, I'll send. I'll be sending out invoices either this afternoon or tomorrow for sure. I'll be. I'll be. I don't have to. I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. So I'll be shipping all day tomorrow. All right. I'm just grabbing a couple more. I don't even know. It's there's no. They're not in any specific genre or um, order or anything. Um, you guys know if you don't know, Mister Buys a Lot was Mister Sells a Lot to yours truly. So I bought over four. 15,000 LPs. So let's start the first lot off. Um, we'll, we'll start it off at 20 shipped. I'm not even sure how many are here. Um, first one is Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Second one is a promotional copy of Mike and the Mechanics Revolution. 12 inch. Um, this is... Wish I could read it because they wrote all over it. I think it's Gigolo Ants. Everybody happy. I, I can't. They have all kinds of information on there. If anybody's familiar. Yeah, it's Gigolo Ants. I see it now here. Um, this one is Courier's Quartet, The Love of God, and it is actually signed. You guys can see it is signed by the singers. I don't know if it's all. Yeah, all of them. Actually, one, two, three, four. Well, maybe there's one missing, but there's four signatures on here. So just FYI on that. Cindy Lauper, 12 inch, 12 inch. Hawaiian Memories. Barry Manilow, two. The fifth didn't have any, Johnny G, don't say that. You never know, that could be true. Uh, this is, um, I don't know if this is actually, I'm not sure if this is the record that goes in here. Disco single. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, because it's just one song um, there, but for the grace of good God go I. Does that sound like a disco song? <laughs> not sure about that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one sure that one's in the right thing but thank you guys don is at 30 thank you don jackie moore disco single Nineteen seventy nine. ronnie Millsap. what a difference you made in my life was my wedding song by ronnie Millsap. it's not one on here though is it no this isn't the album because i know the album all right, this is John Davidson. Mac Davis. Kenny Rogers. The best of Barbara Mandrell. Charlie Pride, Christmas in my hometown. 
Whispering hope. Yes, Dawn was at 30, and now we're at 32 to Connie. Yes, Dawn. Dance to the Big 12, the Buddy Burton Band. Oops. Oh, I should be checking these for you guys, shouldn't I? I will do that. Farron Young, it's four in the morning. Skeeter Davis, Blueberry Hill, and other favorites. I found my friend. I won't sing. <laughs> Oh, I said I wasn't going to sing. Engelbert Humperdinck, sweetheart. Seals and Croft. All right, so let's check these because I didn't do that. All right, so this is Seals and Croft. My uncle by marriage is a first cousin to Ronnie Millsap. Oh, wow, that's interesting, Ronnie. Looks good. Seals and Croft. Engelbert. Ding. And we're waiting for a count. <laughs> I know a lot of songs. You know what? I, I've i always been into, like, you name the genre, and I, I, I know something about, you know, them. I'm, I'm, I was never, um, you know, big into anything particular except for when New Wave came out in the 80s, and then you would catch me you know, not on the dance floor or not on in the mosh pit. That was the only thing that really, but like I grew up with, you know, playing Mozart and Beethoven and I was in orchestra and sang. So like, I like, you know, I like all different genres of music. Some of these people I don't know, like this gentleman, Farron Young, I probably might know his song or two, but I'm not sure. Um, sometimes, you know, you have these, um, songs that you know, but you don't know who they're by. Thank you, April 21 Records. Thank you. Oh, I am supposed to be checking these, aren't I? I will check them, though. I promise that anything that is, like, really, really, if it's really played or it looks like it's really poor, I will just toss another one in. So if you get more than 21, you'll know why. I will still include the ones, the other ones, but in case there's something that I see that really I just don't like the way it looks, I will um, I will throw another one in there. I don't have a turntable to test them. It's one thing that when I come across one in a storage unit, I'm keeping it. <laughs> because actually, I think I do have one now that I say that. Because I think the last storage unit, I still haven't gotten through a couple of boxes in the garage. And I think one of them is a turntable. So I will dig that out in the new home, not here. I'm not starting to set that up here for sure. I'll try to <laughs> un disassemble things, not assemble things. All right, we have Connie at 32. Anybody want to go 34? If not, if you guys were bidding and you're, and you're done, just type out so we can go ahead and call it. Just makes it move that much faster. I appreciate it so much. Her real name is Arnold George Dorsey Engelbart. Yes, I think I knew that actually. I actually, I don't remember if it was him or Neil Diamond, but one of the, one of them, actually, my very first house I rented, used he used to own it um, here on Long Island. So whoever was the one who lived on Long Island at some point in his life, he didn't own it when I rented there. The owners had told me that they had bought it from him. All right, thank you, Don. Don says he's out. John Davidson. And then some of them, then you get some of them like this that look like they've never even been on the player. Quite a few of them I found. It's so crazy. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you. Any other bidders? All right. We're going to call it then. Going to go once. Hey, flip it and list it. We'll go twice now to Connie. Last and final call. And I'll go through these and make sure they're good, Connie. Um, to Connie for three. $30, $32, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Connie for $32. Thank you, Connie.
Congratulations, Connie. All right, honey, you can come back in. Okay. Thank Should you. we do another giveaway? Sure. Let's do another giveaway. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Let's do another giveaway. <laughs> Did I catch you off, off guard? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Your microphone is muted. <laughs> All right. Here we go, you guys. Here's another giveaway. What are we giving away? Yeah. Huh? What are we giving away? One of um his boxes. Oh, he's not with us? No, he's at the post office. Okay. Okay. He's going to be right back. But we okay. have four more to give away. So let's do one now and then we'll do another when he gets back. Okay. Um, because it's five o'clock and we need to get off by you want to get off by like six ish, right? Yeah, I'd be only because I have to come back on at seven and then we're gonna be on at eleven thirty. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's see. Here we go. Here's the number. And it is number. 127. 127. Number 127. Number 127. Yeah, I think my list ends at 126. I got to go over to Facebook. That's the other thing. I want to work on this list, too. I'm being called out by people. Uh oh, one person wants to join the group. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in in a second. Let me just see who's got 127. Heidi Leslie. Heidi Leslie, are you in the chat? Heidi, are you here, honey? I don't know if I saw Heidi. We'll give her a second. Rebecca, I didn't give you a number before. I, I just approved you in the in the group. 192, Rebecca. 192 for them flipping cruders. Welcome. Oh, Jill says, darn, I think I'm 128. There she oh, is. She's in the chat. Oh, hi. Hi. So, um, so the box is free. Uh, if you want, you don't have to. We're asking that maybe you cover the shipping. It's a flat rate box and it's like $15. It's like, what is it? $14 and something cents or something like that. So, um, yeah. Congratulations. And uh, I think, did you copy and paste his email address? Do you have it? I have his email address, yeah. Okay. Maybe you can copy and paste it in the chat and you can tell Chris that you were winner to box number two. Congratulations. There you go, Heidi. Awesome. Okay. And I don't have any more numbers cut up, so I have to cut up some more numbers. I'll have to do that in between. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. All right, my next item, I'm going to put myself solo. Hi. My next item are these vintage little, these have become very, very, very popular. Um, and let's see. These were made in 1979, copyrighted. So they're from Shalom Modes. Shalom Modes, and they're copyrighted, so they're not homemade. And this is what they are, and I'm going to do them for $25 for the pair. Um, the only, this one here is missing one bulb. And the, the other one has the bulbs. So this is how big they are. They're really cute. I have two of these that are really big that I had out all Christmas last year. All right, April's going to start us off at 25. They are absolutely adorable. I'll show you the bottoms. Is it Salome? What is it? Salome molds? How do you say that? Valerie come oh no actually Sue Sue trick it how are you honey Sue's fabulous Solomon. 27 Solomon Solomon molds is what they are if you want to look them up if they have any value April Morris now at 29 they are absolutely darling 
Do they have bases? No, they don't have bases. I'm assuming like they know the big ones. My big ones have bases. Honey Cheney at 33, April Morris now at 35. I'm assuming that you just put the, um, you know, those lights inside of them. You know, the, um, you know, those lights like they use for like the Christmas houses and stuff. They're adorable. They're so cute. I've never seen them this little. No, I've never seen them that small Me either. I've only seen the big ones. They're so That's cute. That's what she said. <laughs> I've never uh, seen them this big. <laughs> Can they are homemade? Mm, I don't know what that means. <clears throat> I don't know if they're homemade. I mean, I'm sure all these trees were homemade. Uh, I'm assuming that the mold company that um, they came from is what you'd want to research. ES Molds, Solomon, maybe ES is the molds company. And then H. Solomon is the person who made them. Not sure. And then they're copyrighted 1974. All right, what do we have? We have uh All right, we have April at 35. Anybody want to come in at 37? Betty says she makes them all the time. Make them all the time. Awesome. Yeah. Well, these are these are from 1979. So these are definitely vintage. April wants you to hold them up again. Okay. And Betty says she has lights if they need one. They need one light. Um, this one has a light missing right there. One light missing. All right, smile for the camera. All right, April, there's your picture. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once then to April at 35. They're adorable. Stand on one foot, Jonathan. Behave yourself. So cute. <laughs> Stand on one foot. <laughs> okay, so they we have the trees. Going twice now to April. I like Jonathan. He's funny. Jonathan is funny. <laughs> All right, fair warning. Last and final call to April Morris. April, you count how many lights are on those trees? <laughs> going once, going twice, and we are sold to April for thirty-five dollars. Congratulations, April. April! Yes, these were very tempting to keep to add to my collection. Very, very tempting. They are adorable. So stinking cute. Okay, so look what I have here. So I picked up a whole bunch of these um, jewels. This is a Nordstrom brand, and I'll show you. They're new with tags. This one is $98 at Nordstrom. The name of the designer is called Sequin. <laughs> and I'm going to show you two of them, and I'm going to start both of them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start both of them off at $30 and they're both brand new with tags. So here you go. This is the first one. And it's just these multi strands of beautiful beads. April says she has a client looking for those trees and she'll have them sold before they get there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Good for you. So $96 for this, you guys, Nordstrom. You can hey, look. Sheila, how are you, honey? Shy Mom 17 in the house. Hi, Sheila. Okay, that's one. And then this one is marked. You're not going to believe this. $138. Wow. Well, and what were you starting this off at? I'm sorry. Um, I just, what did I say for a price? I think I said third. What did I, what did I say? Did you say 30? I think so. Uh, 
They're beautiful. Oh, that sounds good, Shy Mom. Brand new with tags. This one's marked 138, and this one is marked 98. And you get both. Yes, 30 for both. Yes, yes, ma'am. Nope, not 30. Bobby comes in at 30. Bobby comes in at 30. 30 for both, you guys. Bid them up. They're absolutely beautiful. Plenty of room for resale. It has the little uh, the little tag right here. 40 now from Tammy. With the name on it. Uh, 45 from Bobby. Yeah, right there with the 50 name. 50 now from Tammy. There it is, right there. Yeah, they're definitely beautiful statement pieces. This one I love. This has got the one, this has got the, the, uh, the little. Tammy now at 50, Bobby is out. That's like wearing a jewelry jar and one necklace. I know, right? Look at all the strands. It's very pretty. Yeah, triple C. It's nice, right? The flower accent. That's yeah. really nice. One hundred and thirty-eight dollars for that. Can you imagine? Wow, isn't that crazy? Well, it's Nordstrom, so there you go. All right, so we just had two people bidding on them, right? Yeah, we're gonna go once to Tammy at fifty. That's a great deal. I'll have more of these. I picked up a whole bunch of these, so I'll have more. Two necklaces. And going twice now to Tammy. Tammy for 50. Fair warning, last and final call to Tammy Rea, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Congratulations, uh, Tammy. Great deal, honey. I hope you make lots of money back on these. And um, T, I didn't write down, oh, wait a minute, I have it written down over here. Hold on. It was uh, April $35 for the trees. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to show something? Or you want me I'll to do another lot of LPs. Let's see if anybody else wants some LPs. Okay. When I was pulling them, I pulled two lots. Chris is back in the house. Whoopsie. Chris is back. Yeah. Do another giveaway. We gave one. We, we did one. Giveaway, giveaway time. We gave one away when you were gone. Oh, you did? We did. And it went to, who did it go to? It went to Heidi Leslie. Lot Heidi Leslie. Two. Yep. Heidi Leslie. And we dropped your email address. So let's do, let's let T do uh, her her records and then we'll give we'll another one. Number three. Okay. Sure. All right. Go ahead, T. Okay. All right. Um, April, if you want to count for me, that would be great. We'll start this off again at um, 20. 95 people in the chat, you guys. Thank you Thank so you guys. Very much. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us this afternoon. We appreciate you so much. Hey, hey, Source from Paradise D. How are you, hon? This, this is interesting. Saturday morning songs. And I think it says there's a book in here. And there is. And it's still here. And I was going to see if anybody had colored in it. Make sure. No, it's still clean. So, yeah, it's got a, it's got a coloring book in it besides. That's cute. Who 
remembers the hustle. Do hustle. Do, 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 do. Motown. Hooked on classics. Willie Nelson. Elvis Christmas. Simon and Garfunkel. England Dan and John Ford Coley. Earl Hines plays Duke Ellington. Recorded live at Liverpool Stadium and Brixton Sundown. At Brixton Sundown? Yeah, Brixton. That's an interesting cover. We have Connie to start us off at 20. Connie starts us off at 20. Flying is trying is dying. Hmm. This is an interesting album. Oh, and it's two records in here. Let's see what kind of condition they're in. Let's see what kind of condition they're in. Yeah, they've been played. They've been played for sure. Not 100%, but they're okay. The cover alone, I would take it just to hang the cover up. <laughs> Lots of psyche, psychedelic coloring. Yeah, like this, this here is interesting, very interesting with the face and all the colors. Yeah, just forget the record. <laughs> Where's Ramona? Is Ramona in here? Hey, Ramona, who is this? What kind of music is this? I don't recognize it at all. Oh, maybe Ramona disappeared. Okay. I was just curious. <laughs> All right. Do we have a count? Where's my counter? April, do we have a count? <laughs> Thank you, April. 17 in the slot. Psych. Okay. Got it. Yeah, so I said I would take it just for the just for the photos. Like I was seriously thinking too now with all these albums. I did come across some empty sleeves. I, I may I may put them up on the wall here as a background. I might Miss do that. T? I'm seriously considering doing that. Miss T? Yes. That album is by a band named Hawkwind, and it was recorded in 1973 in the UK. Oh, thank you. You are so smart. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys did know that the sock had such depth and such. I'm, I'm really misunderstood a lot. Knowledge. Wow. <laughs> Not just your normal sock. That's funny. I thought you were just telling me the other day that you were nothing but just a normal sog. <laughs> uh, You're lying now? Wow. <laughs> Are you lying? I'm not lying. I'm you said I Googled it. Hey, I, you know, I'm just nothing but a normal sock. I mean, I remember you saying that to me. So I don't know. Really fine, know. I Googled it. I admit it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Argyle. Argyle. Shh. That was supposed to be our secret. Oh, I don't know. Read. <laughs> she tells me one thing, and then you know she tells everybody else another. I mean, I don't know. In the privacy of you know a phone conversation, she's like, "I'm just." <laughs> You're <laughs> admitting to the world that you talk to a sock on the phone. <laughs> not the weird one. She's about me. I'm just your ordinary sock. <laughs> April says, Argyle Sock is very smart and funny. We love you. 
<laughs> See there? See, April knows. April knows. Smarty talk instead of smarty pants. Well, that's because she's thinking about her pants. Fucking pants. All right. We got Connie at 32. See, Connie, Cece, becoming, wants to know what, becoming, song, what songs are on the Elvis album. CCC wants to know. Okay. Let's see. Elvis. Oh, come holy faithful, the first Noel on a snowy Christmas night, winter wonderland, the wonderful world of Christmas. Oh, it won't seem like Christmas. I'll be home on Christmas Day. If I get home on Christmas Day, holly leaves and Christmas trees, Merry Christmas, baby, and silver bells. And they they actually highlight two other albums, and I know I've seen this one somewhere. Might be in another pile, but I know I've seen this one. His hand on mine. Oh, maybe even the other one. I don't know. I have, when I tell you 14... Thousand and I have they're in a storage unit like so I just grab and and take um also if you guys can make a comment because I haven't shown any of them yet and I do have tons of these I can bring I don't know if anybody would be interested in 78s because I have crates and crates of 78s as well if anybody is interested well she made a rhyme uh Gail. crates and crates of 78s she made a funny don't you have something to eat, Anna? Chris the Goose. I just had something to eat. I stepped away for a minute. I'm good right now. I'll get I'll get another snack in a minute. Chris, did you have something that you wanted to present this afternoon? Nope. You sure? I'm sure. All right. And Chris, also tonight when you come on to do the five giveaways, if you want to present something as well, you feel free. Feel free. All right. We're gonna call it to Connie at 32. Gonna go once. Gonna go twice. And fair warning. Last and final call. Hey Jose. Hi, honey. Going once. Going twice. And ladies okay. and gentlemen, we are sold to Connie for $32. Congratulations, Connie. Thank you, honey. Hey, Jose. <laughs> Get you off guard. <laughs> You're trying to sabotage my career. I can see it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not like she didn't say after T shows the lot of albums. Wow, T's defending me today. Ooh, what's going on? <laughs> Holy smoke. Usually she's like throwing me under the bus. Okay, you guys. Jose number three. Jose's yelling at me. Hello, Donna. <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. Ready, ready, Freddie. Who's the next one going to? It is going to Janine. One eighty nine. Janine, 189. Janine, you still in the chat? Let's see if she's in the chat. Is she here? Is she here? Is she here? Janine, are you still here? Uh oh. Let's give her a minute. See if she's still here. Age discrimination. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anybody have Janine's phone number or email? Send her an email. Let her know she's a winner. She must have slipped away. She was here earlier. Whoop, whoop. There she is. There she is. Yay. Congratulations, Janine. Congratulations. Chris, drop your email in the chat so they um, so you can get their address. And if you want to pay for shipping, yes, so Steve. yes, Steve. same one. No, no changes in the numbers. You still have your number. Yep. Thank you, April. April put it in there for me. Okay, thank you, April, and congratulations, Janine, and thank you so much, Chris the Goose. And you're Dean, you're still 47. <laughs> Chris, we appreciate you so much for doing this. Honest to goodness. 
It's awesome. No, no problem. I appreciate everybody being here. You're great. Okay. So um, I'll do enough. I'll do a lot. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Chris, <gasps> Chris, are you sure you don't want to present anything? No, not now. I'm, I'm a later. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to do a lot of um, scholastics chapter books. And again, I'll say, like I did earlier, if you would like this bundle to go to a, a, a niece, a nephew, a, a grandchild somewhere out of state, just contact me and let me know. Okay. This is a great idea. My fiance's daughter and family are in rural area and can't get any of these things. We sent things when we can find them. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Special paradise. Okay, so here's the first one. I don't know how many are here. April, if you want to count for me or Abraham, I appreciate it. So here is a magic tree house. Is Abraham here? I missed Abraham. Yeah, he was here earlier. Oh, yep. okay. Hi, Abraham. Sorry. Um, another magic tree house. T yeah, Tammy's asking, what lot number is this? This seven? Are we on seven? Six. six. six? Okay. This is lot number six. And here's. Um, the third magic tree house, Judy Moody, Pirates Past a Noon, Amazing Magnetism. Now, you guys, these are like brand new. They're Scholastics books, like brand, brand new. Um, what was Pearl Harbor? Daniel Webster, Max's Story. Ray yeah, Sergeant Spork says butter is ten dollars. Butter? Yeah. Oh, that's price price gouging. Incredibles two. Twenty-five dollars to start, you guys. I'm just asking, do we have an age group on this or this kind of is a realm? Just scholastics. No, there's no age group. It's yeah. Um Heidi Heckerbeck. Um Disney. The Never Ending Girls, another magic tree house. Shirley comes in at 25. Mermaids to the Rescue, another Judy Moody. Judy Moody again. Scholastics again. Theater Shoes. Jose, would you like to go 27? Nope, it's about to get real, comes in at 27. Theater Shoes again. I survived dogs in the dead of night. Shirley now at 29. Burl, a pig's tail. Soul Surfer. Oh, I remember seeing this girl. On I know. YouTube. I was going to say that, Robin. <laughs> I remember seeing her on YouTube or something, the story. You, you didn't even realize it, did you? What's that? You showed a mermaid book. Oh, no, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> 34 now from Shirley Pearl. Yeah, do you remember this story? This girl that got attacked by she was like a, she was a beach bomb and surfer and she got she Oh got yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's still surfing. Um another magic tree house. <laughs> now she's really going to be mad at Argyle. She's like, "Wow, how quickly I've been forgotten." <laughs> the notebook of doom. The Notebook of Doom again. The Summer Vacation from Black Lagoon. Another Magic Tree House. The Cricket. Transformers. Another Judy Bloom. Mrs. Poppy is Loopy. Stink. Ralph S. Mouse. The Talented Clementine. Kids of Silliest. Jokes. Oh, this is we get. I should send this to Adam. <laughs> Adam exploits. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what with Adam today? Wait, I didn't see Wade on. Was no, Wade I haven't on? seen him either. This is a beautiful one. The Little Prince. It does have a name at the top, but it looks like it's never been opened. You can see it's like brand new, but it does okay. have a, a name written in, in marker or pen. All right, we have Kim. It's about to get real at 42. And JRKR1964, Jen at 44, and Janine. Um, the shipping on that is that it, it, it's going in a medium flat rate box. Um, Chris is accepting any donation up to that amount if you would like to just send it to him. And I'll go ahead and drop his email in the chat again. Um, it, it's strictly on your discretion um, if you, if you want to send him something. 
it, it's more of a gift because he's gifting this to everyone. So, all right, that's all the books. Shirley, 42 books, and we are at $44. That last book. Which one? This one? What was the last one? The Little Prince? This one. I don't know, but they're beautiful. They're great books. It's about to get real. It's now at 46. Okay, Janine. All right, honey. I'm going to drop it anyway so you guys have it if anybody wants to. The Littlest Prince. Yeah. This is a great lot. You know how expensive these are at the Scholastics Fair. And All right, Jen says she's out. We're going to go once to Kim at 46. And they're easy to list because they have barcodes. So you could probably get these 46 books listed in no time at all. Um, yeah, books are so easy to list when they oh. have the ISBN number. Oh, did, did she freeze? Argyle, are you still with us? Chris, hello? I'm here. Okay. Don is not. Not a very attractive picture of her either. <laughs> no. All right. Meanwhile, we're going to sell this lot for $46. It's about to get real, and we are sold. Let me just make sure she knows she is frozen. Yeah, you are frozen. Miss Donna, snap out of it. Her internet failed. Okay. I can't even bring it. They brought me back into the screen so I can show something if you want to reboot. But I can't bring like Chris in to do another giveaway. And I can't draw a number without you. Okay. Okay. I did. I sold I sold the books to Kim for 46. If you want to write that down while you're rebooting and um I'll show a lot. I'll show a lot until you come back in. All right. Yeah, she she lost her connection. So, all right, we'll do um I have these little um they're like mi little mini mini mouse earrings. We can start these off at 10. They're silver plated. They're mini, mini mouse. That's the cover. That's the tag. If anybody's interested, silver plated brass glitter mini dangle earrings. Really cute. There's the backs. You guys can see them. $10 shipped. Oh, Kim, I'm so glad. That's so great. Donna Frozen, oh, oh, oh God, I'll help her. <laughs> All right, we have Sue in at 10. Joanne comes in at 12. Fourteen now for Sue. All right, she's back. Okay. I don't know what happened. And Susan Aaron out. is now at 16. She fell out. She fell out. Who fell out? 
She fell out. Down, down. <laughs> All right, Sue says she's out. We have Susan Arrington at 16. Hey, Simply Dana. Hi, honey. Lot number six. Okay. All right, 18 now to Joanne. I have to tell you, that was like so scary to me, like especially during the times that we're experiencing right now. Like, yeah. If you lose internet, like that's that's scary. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to say that. 20 now. 20 now from Susan. Yeah. I mean, you know, and there's so many people on it right now too, because everybody's working from home or just at home. You know, just think about it. Just think of all the kids are, who are off from school and on the computer. You know, that alone, besides the people now that, you know, have e either gotten a two-week reprieve or are working from home now. So it's a lot more. All right. We have Susan now at 20. Joanne says she's out. We're going to go once to Susan at 20. Yeah, over 37 million kids home. So just think about the internet, right? All right, we'll go twice now to Susan. And fair warning, last and final call to Susan Arrington. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Susan Arrington for $20. Thank you, Susan. All right, honey, you can come back in. Or do we want to go to Chris? Where's Chris? He's not in the back. He's not in the green room. Oh, I don't know. I'll text him. All right, you come back in and show something, and I'll text. Right, him. I'll show this bag while we're waiting for Chris to come back, and we'll do another. Um, we'll do another giveaway. Okay, you guys. I have a beautiful brown quilted Vera Bradley purse. Twenty five dollars to start. Um, it might be. I'm not sure. It's got like a plastic lining inside of it, as you can see. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. April's telling me there was an earthquake in Salt Lake City this morning. Oh, gosh. That's all we need. Wow. Um, it is in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. It's not a shelf pull. It's not brand new, but it is in excellent, excellent condition. Like it's never been used. $25 to start, you guys. It looks like a diaper bag. Yep, it does, Tiffany. Vera Bradley, brown. Oh, Tiffany said they felt it in Pocatello. Wow. 5.7. Wow. Oh, that's big. That's where Deals lives. Wow, that's big. Holy cow. Twenty-five to start. Anybody? All right, twenty-five dollars to start on the bag, guys. Beautiful Vera Bradley quilted bag. It's uh, probably Tiffany's right. It looks like a diaper bag. Um, it just have a it has a nice plastic lining inside of it. Twenty-five now to Bobby. Perfectly clean. Excellent condition. If it was used, it was used for very very little. But, I mean, it could be used for anything. It doesn't have to be used for a diaper bag. It's a great um, overnight bag as well. All right, we have 25 from Bobby. Who wants to go 27? Oh, really, Don? They just closed the U.S. Canadian border. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. They called off school in California. Did you hear that? No. They called off school for the rest of the school year in California. Yep. All right, $25 to Bobby. Anybody else want to come in? 27 It's a beautiful bag. Did you text Chris? I did. 
He'll be back in a couple of minutes. Going once, going twice. All right. We're going to call it. Great deal. Bobby's going to steal this one up. Going twice now to Bobby. Fair warning. Going once, going twice. Beautiful Ladies and bag. gentlemen, the steal of the deal of the evening. Today, Bobby Pizzelli for $25. Congratulations, Bobby. Awesome. Nice, 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 girl. Nice. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Vera Bradley, $25 to Bobby. Where is Mr. Goose? We got to get off pretty soon. We still have three more to give away. No, two more. Two more. Two more? We did yeah. three? We did three. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to do something? Or you want yes, Susan, you did. Where have you been, Missy Miss? Yes, you did. Um, what lot number? Lot number seven. No, do something else, honey. Do something right. else. I'll go get a piece of jewelry. Okay. I'll do plush. I'll do plush. Yeah, I'll do some jewelry later online. Or who knows? Maybe we'll have a pop up on Robin's. You never know. I might bring some things to Robin's auction, to, uh, Robin's channel tonight. Never know. I don't know. What do you think about that? What's that? I said, who knows? Maybe we'll bring some things to Robin's channel tonight. Just saying. Might have a couple of things. Huh. I would be. I would do that. Give Robin some some watch hours, guys. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. <laughs> Please come over to Robin's channel at 11.30. Chris is going to do two more giveaways, and I'm going to do a giveaway. And who knows? Donna and I might decide to show a few things. You never know. Of course, if that's okay with Robin, we have to Well, you have to ask Robin because, you know, she's kind of mad at Donna right now. Oh, she oh, is? Yeah. Oh. She, oh, she texted God. me and said that Donna totally forgot all about her. Oh, I didn't hear really. about her, Argyle. I'm not trying to steal her thunder. Speaking of Argyle. <laughs> I don't get it. Does this scare you? Are you asking it. me or the sock? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one is um, uh, the Summit Collection. And it's really cute. The Summit Collection. Next. Oh, my gosh. This bunny. Oh, gosh. This is really beautiful right here, you guys. See, this is something that I would put in my post on eBay area and then never post it. Right, right. <laughs> you know that area I have? And then eventually I Yeah, it's kind of like do a video tea area. Honest to God. Okay, so this is a stipe. This is a Stife bunny, and look at how beautiful it is. Nice. And, yeah. and there it is right there, Stife. Absolutely beautiful. This is definitely a shelf pull. Um, it is spotless. It is brand new. It's beautiful. Okay. Next is here's a ty and it's a little polar bear the ones with the sparkly eyes are the ones that people are collecting just so that you know and here's a little tiny olaf there's a little disney olaf and here is a disney mickey he's got he's not a shelf full he's got lint on him he's gonna need a little bit of attention um this one has a mechanism in him. It's a kind of him to work. I don't know what it does. I don't know where to touch him or squeeze him. Just touch it. Okay, he, he's going to need batteries. Um, it's Nintendogs, like Nintendo, but Nintendogs. I don't know. I have no idea about this brand. 
but it's a cute puppy and it does have a mechanism inside of him. I'm sure he just needs batteries. Most of my plush works. Here's another, here's another TY with the golden eyes, the sparkle eyes. This one is, it's, uh, it's made in France. It's a made in France one. So anything that's made overseas is, is good money. Advil in the cabinet. What's the matter? I just have a headache. You have a headache? It's not in this cabinet. Huh? It's not in here. Um, Pat starts us off at 25. Gina Chauvin at 27 now. Moulin, Roddy, and it's, Heidi um, Leslie at 29. Made in France. I have no idea who this guy is. Hey, Wonder Woman. Cartoon Network. The Vintage Pat now at 31. The Amazing World of Gumballs. With the tags on it. 33 now from Gina. This one is K&M International. It was just working. It was just tweeting. It's not tweeting anymore. 35 now for Pat. It's a red cardinal. And here we have a cold pair, and it's just an orange fish. It's an excellent condition. 35 from Pat. Who wants to go 37? And here we have Tigger, I think, or maybe not. Who is this? I don't see a tush tag on him. I have the same one almost, I think. There's no tush tag, but he looks too nice not to be anybody. So you'll have to look him up, see who he is. But he's really well made, but there's no tush tag on him. So you're going to just have to look him up and do some research and find him. And then the last one is Winnie the Pooh. It's a Disney Winnie the Pooh. He's definitely a shelf pull. He's spotless. All right. We have 35 from Pat. Oh, wait, there's one more in here. Oh, my gosh. This is adorable. It's a Webkins. Look at him. With all his furriness. He's adorable. I don't know what kind of dog he is, but he looks really like a Springer Spaniel. What is it? A Springer Spaniel. Is that? Isn't he so cute? Look at his fur. He's spotless. He's a gorgeous piece. Okay. That's one, two. Is that Tony the Tiger? No. Three, I have no idea. Cartoon Network is four. Nine pieces, April says. Five, six, seven, eight. Did she say nine? No, it can't be. Eight, nine, ten. 11, France, 12, 13 for the Cardinal, and the Dyke is 14 pieces total. 14 pieces total. Gina is out, and we have Pat at 35. 37 from Kathy Ward. You should be able to get that just for the Stife bunny. They have a huge, um, they have a huge following. 39 from to Pat. Thank you, Pat. And Chris the Goose is back in the house. Absolutely, yeah. 
It's beautiful. The Stife Elephant, especially since it's an elephant, it's got a double. It's got the, the fact that it's an elephant and the fact that it's a, a Stife is awesome. Hello, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. 41 now from Kathy Ward. Thank you, Kathy. 14 pieces. The bunny is the best. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. But Winnie the Pooh is also awesome. And um, what else was in there? There's there's some 43 now from Pat. Love the bunny. Yep. It's worth some bucks. I'm sure it is. Is this live right now? No, Matthew, it's not live. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matthew, welcome in, honey. <laughs> we recorded earlier, but welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining, Matthew. <laughs> we appreciate you. We're about to give a, a, um, a giveaway. So um, if you want to register, I don't know, are we taking any more registrations? I don't have any more slips cut. <clears throat> You can register for tonight's registration for tonight's show. We're going to be um, doing another show on T's channel tonight. He is um, uh, auction. Drop the link in the registration there. Okay. All, All right. right. Chris oh. back. Yeah, Chris is back. All right. So we're going to call this. We're going to go once now. To Pat at 43. Kathy is out. Thank you, April. Going twice now. And fair warning, last and final call to the vintage Pat at $43. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. For $43. $43. Congratulations. Okay. Everybody's coming back in. Lot number eight. Plush. No, Willow. No, honey. You don't have to. Re no, <laughs> no. You're registered here. You have a number. You're in the drawing. No worries. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. But no, that email is for anybody who wants to make a donation to cover. Um, the shipping for the giveaway that Chris is giving away. Look what he's giving away. He's giving a medium flat rate box. Look at a thermometer, wipes, Mr. Clean, aloe, aloe vera gel, sore throat, vapor cool, magic eraser, which cleans your plush, by the way. Awesome, you guys. What is that? Kleenex. It looks like. Oh, my gosh, Chris. You're amazing. You are Lot number four. He's going to get it. Lot number four. Let's draw it. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I'm going to pull a number. We have 85 people in the chat. You guys have a good chance. And here it is. All right. Tiffany, good. I'm glad you got all your lots ready. Um. We, we, I, we, I might, I might adjust the time by fifteen minutes. We'll see. Um, it's just going to be you and Chris anyway. So, one zero three. One zero oh three. Ah, I haven't seen this person in a long time. S Svelte stuff. What is it? S. S Swelty S V E L T E stuff. They haven't been around in a long time. Okay. Let's go back. I doubt they're here lurking, but if you are, we'll give you two seconds to respond. <laughs> now we're picking another number. <laughs> I haven't seen that name around forever. No, no. No buffering. Granny Joe is buffering. No, she says not buffering now. I'm not buffering. Okay. Here it is. A whole lot of buffering. Yeah, it's just the web, unfortunately. 122. 122. 
Yeah, I think there are a lot of people online right now. Yes, I agree. Granny Jo! Woo! Yay! Hey. Granny Jo, look at that. She paid There's a perfect home. example of karma. There's yeah. a perfect example of karma. And you know what? I want to pay for Granny Jo shipping. Oh, good for you, T. That's awesome. Way to go, girl. Thank That's you. That's what I call karma. Right there, guys. That was quick karma right there. Wow, that's awesome. Good deal, Granny. Awesome. Granny Doe, congratulations. Is she still All in, your is she still in the chat? Yeah, she just made a comment two minutes ago. <laughs> I can see her. Oh. There she is. I can pay Yay, for it. Granny I Doe. know you can, but I want to do it for you, Granny Doe. I want to do it for you. That's awesome. Okay, should we do another? Because I know you want to get off. So let's do another one, and um, maybe I'll stay on, and then I'll send everybody over to your channel. Okay, that works. Um, and I'm honestly thinking I'm going to push it to 7.15. Okay. All right. And Chris, get some lots ready, because Lisa just informed me she's not coming on. So it'll just be you and Tiffany. Okay. That's the next one. Okay, let's pull another number. Okay, ready? The next one is... 88. I don't know if it's 88. <laughs> <laughs> number 88. Pat D's. Oh, Pat D's, are you in the house? Pat D's, are you lurking, Pat? Pat D's, are you here? Are you lurking, Pat? Pat, Pat, Pat. I don't think he's here. All right, we'll give it two minutes. It's 611. Hello, Denali. Hi, Denali. Nope, he has to be here. He has to be here. Somebody want to send him a quick text? <laughs> he has two minutes to respond. I know he's almost always here. Chacha, reach out to T, see if she wants to have one more. She's already kind of made a commitment. So see if uh, if T has any room. I, I have you on for a date, honey. I already have you in for a date. Too late. Okay. okay. Let's go. All right. Next. Sorry, Pat. Here we go. 161. 161. That's a new one. That's on, on the paper here. 161. You are not alone. You are with us every yes, day. Right? You're going to be with us every day. Where T and I already talked about it. We're Abraham, I hope Megan's here. Megan, 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 are you here? I hope Megan's here. Well, they're one unit. Even if he's here, it's okay. Because they're all they're 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 the, they're the same household, and they have they have kids. They can really use this stuff. Megan Scott, looking for Megan Scott. <laughs> Abraham, are you in the house? Ah. He was here earlier. He must have fell out. He fell out. He fell out. Oh well. Okay. Gives everybody else another chance. All right, here we go. One eighty-three, Candace. Candace Allen, are you still in the house? Candace, are you still here? Candace, Candace, are you still here? Candace, 
Nope. Looks like she may have gone somewhere else. All right. Hey, Chris, are my eyes still weirding you out today? Okay, here we go. Candace is not here. Here's the next one. You snooze, you lose, Bobby says. Oh, gosh, I feel bad. It's a lot of our friends. Okay, here we go. 156. 156, Christine B. Christine B. Yay. Yay, Yay Christine B. Awesome. Christine B probably will send it. Chris, Christine, uh, get in touch with Chris and she probably, and she probably will send that to her daughter. Her daughter and her daughter's son are both school teachers. So, and they have kids. So that's, that's awesome. Christine, are you here? Is she still here? She was just here. here. So. Oh, there she, she is. is. Yep. Yeah. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Congratulations, Christine. That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to keep these numbers here because um, this is for today's drawings. It's going to go th right through till tonight. So um, when you do your stream yard for tonight. I did it already. Oh, okay. Send me the link. And when it's time to do the giveaway, I'll come on with Chris and I'll pull the numbers. Absolutely. Yeah. You just give me a quick text and let me know and I will uh, come in and draw the numbers for you. All and right, guys. All right. So guys, we're going to be back here, uh, back on my channel, actually in an hour. We'll make it 7.15. I'm going to alter the time um, just so I can kind of straighten things up and get things ready for tonight. And um, we're going to show from uh, 7.15 to 9.45, because I want to make sure we get off of Bolo Buddies at 10. We're going to head over to Bolo, and then when Bolo's over, we're going to head over to Robin's channel. We're going to have two more packages to give away on Robin's, plus I'm going to do a giveaway, and who knows, if Robin can get over the fact she's mad at Donna, maybe we'll show some things as well. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll be doing a giveaway tonight, too. All right, good. Okay, bye, T. See you later. Bye, bye guys. Bye. bye. So I'm going to stay on, and let's see. She's going to come back on in an hour. So what I'll do is I'll stay on for like another half an hour. I'll show a couple oh. more thoughts. And um, am I welcome to stay? Uh, should we take a vote? Why do you have to think about it? Who are you pointing to, Chris? It's pointing to you. Chris, are you pointing to me? I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> what was he trying to communicate? He was saying that I should stay, I think. Is that what he was saying? Yeah, that's it. And then he left without, yeah. saying, without saying goodbye? Yeah, seems like you last night. I was just gonna say, seems to be the trend. What did yeah. he say, Brad? I couldn't hear him. Could you hear him? No, I couldn't hear him either. Brad says I could hear him. But being a sock puppet, I know some sign language. Donna, turn that turn that box upside down. I've been only high numbers. I've been, I've been, um, I've been picking, I've been picking, like I, I, I flip it all around. I do. I've been flipping it all around. Okay, but there are a lot of high numbers. Okay, let me go get something and I'll uh, I'll auction something off. Oh, Ramona, I love you too. Does anybody have any questions for me? Why? Now that she's gone. Okay, just a second. Hurry before she comes back. Hurry what? Nothing. All right. I'm just going to take myself off the screen for one second. I got to just take care of something really quick. I'm going to put you on the screen. All right. <laughs> How's that? Do you That's have a story great. that you want to tell anybody? What they're here to see anyway. They can't see you? 
Yes, they're only here to see me. They're only here to see you. Right. What do I smell like? I smell like a, a, a bounce dryer sheet. I have to use dryer sheets because if not, I get stuck on pant legs. Oh, yeah? Even if yeah. I use downy. Downy's okay, but, you know, I like more bounce. Profile, please. What do you mean like this? In profile? Um, can you say that again? The Granny Doe wants my profile. I don't know if she means like this side or this side. <laughs> what a random question. Do I like oysters? I don't think I've ever had an oyster. You haven't? No. Are you kidding? No. You'll know when I'm kidding. Oysters are delicious. I like pizza. I know most people think I eat lamb, but not on purpose. Fritos. I see what you did there. Yeah. What's my favorite scent of dryer sheet? Ocean air. No, I don't like toe jam. Okay, I'm not mermaid. related to a mermaid, no. But I know a sock that is. Do I like peaches? Of course I like peaches. Who doesn't like peaches? <laughs> okay, I am done. I had to take care of something from my husband who loves to text me while I'm doing... Even lot. Donna likes peaches. I don't have anything peaches. against peaches, actually. Nothing at all. I love peaches. <laughs> They're so delicious. <laughs> They're so yummy. See? Even Donna loves peaches. Okay, let's do another plush lot. Let's do another plush lot. I'm going to put myself on the screen. So many questions left unanswered. We'll have to do that later. <laughs> Jill says there's an echo. No, that was her playing a recording of me saying that I liked peaches. I can count. Okay, April, ready? So the first one in this lot, $25 to start, you guys. It is um, Peanuts. It's a Peanuts plush. It's a Snoopy's Day at Macy's. Sing along, do a dance, and count down the millennium. I don't know if that means he talks. Um... Oh, yeah. You can hear him. Anyways, so there's Snoopy with the jester's hat. And that's number one. Number two is this dinosaur looking thing. It's a Disney. It's a Disney piece. And it's really cool. It's a Disney plush. He's beautiful. He's got the the Disney on his on his paw, his foot. And then we have a Mickey Disney, Santa Santa Mickey. And what else is in here? We have a tugboat. It's a Coles Care tugboat. And what in the world is this? This is also Disney. And it has a mechanism in them. I don't know. Do you know where he's from? I have no idea. <laughs> he's so ugly. It's a chicken. It's a scary looking, awful looking. It has a mechanism in him, but I don't know what he does. That's a nice um rooster you have there. Is it a rooster? Well, I mean, there's other words for it. I don't know what I'm supposed to touch to make him work. Are you guys seeing this? I don't know what I'm supposed you to do. You guys see. not see the humor in this? Okay, so he needs batteries. 
but he's brand new. He just needs batteries. He probably walks or something. I don't know because his feet are hard. So I don't know. I gotta go. Doing. I can't do this. <laughs> he's he's very odd looking. Um, and here is a baby Simba. With Disney. And oh, that because she had recorded that. This is adorable. This is a minion, and he's got like a. Um, oh, I lost you guys. Hold on. Okay. He's got like a groovy shirt on. So he's really cute. And let's see. I can't let it touch the screen because I have a touch screen. And every time I put the plush up to the touch screen, Okay, this one, I've had this one before. This is the one that, like, laughs or something. Or... La, 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 Elmo's world. This is the one that was talking that night. Remember, he has a lot to say, but he needs batteries. When I turn him on and off, you can hear that he works, but he probably just needs batteries. But this one is really cute. This one has a lot to say. His mouth opens and closes, and he... He has a huge vocabulary. Sounds like you're describing me. Yeah. And this one has a mechanism as well. And let me see if there's an on-off button. Most of this plush works for sure. Like I've never gotten any complaints. These are, um, a lot of these came from the, the shelf pull guy. This, this is Elmo in his pajamas. And then here's Alvin. This is an old one. This is not a new one for sure. And it needs batteries also. There's Alvin with his guitar. And I guess this is Alvin also. And it doesn't have any batteries in it. So you have to put batteries in it. So it's no sense in turning them on. But there's Alvin as well. And the last piece in here is a Ninja Turtle. There's a Ninja Turtle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, April, how come you wrote seven? There's so many more than seven. Seven, eight. Oh, 11, okay. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. 12 plush, and we have Gina at we have connie at 31. um 33 from gina i'll buy the ninja turtle from whoever buys this lot okay anita the little ninja turtle i have a big ninja turtle that i'll present um maybe tonight or tomorrow I want it for my grandbaby. The kids distracted me when I was typing. Oh, April, I'm sorry, honey. Um, so 11 pieces of 12 plush. 12 plush, $35 to Connie. Does anybody want to come in at 37 for this awesome lot of plush? I'm seeing if I missed anything in the chat. Hey, Deals is here. Hello, Deals. Welcome. Deals, I sent you a message, honey. I don't know if you got it in your email. Deals, um, did you feel the earthquake? Gina is out. What, honey? I was wondering if Deals felt the earthquake. Oh, yeah. Did you feel the earthquake, Deals? Um. So where are we at? Let me see. Connie's at 35. Anybody want to come in at 37? If not, we're going to call it to Connie. For the plush, $35, lot number nine, Gina is out. I think her and Connie were the only ones bidding, right? 
I think so. Let's see the chicken again. Let's see the tag. Did you want to see the tag, Chris? It's not technically a chicken. What is it? It's a rooster. Or a, um, there's another word for it. I can't remember it. That's the tag. Just Disney. And then and it's got it's got three pages of tags, but it's just like care and stuff like that. Okay. So Connie's at 35. We're gonna call it to Connie. We're gonna go once. Hey, the nurse flippers in town. Hey, hey. We're gonna go twice. You need a break sometime, April. That's right. She's always counting for me. And three times with a fair warning, and we are sold, 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 sold to Connie for $35. Lot number nine, Connie, $35. Thank you, sweets. I appreciate it. Okay, we're going to do number 10. I've still got 73 people in the chat, and I want to thank you guys so much for being here. And Connie I'm would like you to send the turtle to Anita. Hold on. I'm going to bring you in while I go get another lot. There you go. Okay. I guess on with the questions. You think I saw one that said, what do I like to do for entertainment? I like to crash other people's shows. Sometimes I like to go round and round and round in a dryer. Hi, Betty Webb. Do I like chicken? It's okay, I guess. Hi, Bono Buddies. Thanks for watching. Do I wear socks? Well, no, I am a sock. Do I wear anklets? Yeah, but I call them necklaces. Mermaids can't wear socks. They don't have any feet. I don't have feet. They have a lot of questions, Miss Donna. Do they? Yeah. I can barely keep up. What cycle do I prefer on the dryer? What cycle do you prefer on the dryer? Look at that. I have to show you. My husband says that I'm dramatic. So he, he actually... You're a little he, extra. I'm a little bit. That's what my kids tell me. So he's texting me, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want for dinner? So I, I, I responded back, I'm live. And I, and I gave him that, you know, blow up head. And he writes, dinner, what do you want? I'm in a toxic, dangerous environment, risking my life to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, shut up, I'm live. <laughs> I'm in a toxic, dangerous environment. <laughs> Risking my life to feed you. He's so over the top dramatic. He calls me dramatic. He's at Costco. He can't stay away from Costco. He's like a Costco junkie. <laughs> he wants to write a book, How to Survive Costco During In Season. <laughs> You never go down the middle aisles. You always stay in the outside aisles, he'll say. When he talks to people about Costco, he loves Costco. And he loves the, um, he's like the old people. He loves, he'll be like, I can't stand going to Costco with him. He thinks he's at the library when he's at Costco because I'm like grab and go. Like, I'm like, we need this, we need this, we need this, and we need this. And I'm out. I'm done. I want to leave. And then I, everything he picks up, like he'll pick something up and he'll like. 
he reads all the ingredients. He's going to know where it's coming from, how it was made, the nutritional value, like all of it. Bobby, sushi sounds awesome. Sushi sounds really, really good. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. No, he's at Costco. If he comes home with roast chicken, I'm going to flip a lid. I'm just telling you that right now. It's going to put me in the worst mood because I am so chickened out. I can't eat another piece of chicken. We've been eating roast chicken for days. <laughs> yes, he eats all the samples, Chris. And like when I go to Costco with him, he'll be like, come on over here and try this. This is really good. And I'm like, I don't want to try the samples. I just need to get laundry detergent and milk and whatever else we need. Maybe we he should get a part-time job there. Huh? Maybe he should get a part-time job there. Oh my gosh, he loves Costco. He has to go like three, four times a week. It's only right down the street. And he, he like he needs to go there all the time. He has like Costco withdrawals. I haven't responded to him. He's in a toxic, toxic environment risking his life to feed me. Just type in no chicken, thanks. <laughs> no, let him just get what he wants. Okay, I have a beautiful, it's guess. It's a guest pocketbook, and I'm going to start this off at $10. If anybody's interested. What? 10 10 $10 for the guest pocketbook. I looks to me like it's never been used. It looks brand spanking new. Yeah. I would say it's never been used. It even has the paper in it still. Yeah, it's brand new. $10. Bobby comes in at $10. It's, um, it's not leather. <laughs> I'm sniffing it again. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. But it's not leather. <laughs> and Pete comes in at 12 But it is beautiful, even though it's not leather. It's very sophisticated. Um, very, very, um, classy. It's very classy looking, I would say. Very classy looking parts. And we have 18 from Bobby. Quit whiffing the merchandise, Donna. Just whiff it. <laughs> I whiff my merchandise. I think <laughs> Da, 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 da. You must whiff it. <laughs> it's, it's better to, right? to it's whiff it. Whiff it good. <laughs> it's better to whip it than to hump it. She's always okay, now you're just getting nasty down the stairs. She says. <laughs> uh, wait, wasn't I first at eighteen, Jill? Let me see. Yes. Yes, you were, Jill. I'm sorry. I didn't see you right above it. <laughs> Whip the chicken. <laughs> elegant pocketbook. Yes, Ramona. It is very elegant. It's beautiful. She already did that, Cajun. Just rewind. You can watch it again. <laughs> oh, geez. 20 to Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Let me just respond to him. I'll, I'm going to respond sushi. Let's see what he says. <laughs> oh, he won't bring home sushi. Last thing we should be spending money on is sushi. Very beautiful. $22 to Jill. And Costco doesn't have sushi. Bobby comes in at 24. Thank you, Bobby. Okay, there's a talking sock on the computer, or am I losing it? Mm, I don't see a chalk and Ooh, that sounds good. He said there's no there's no sushi, but I can get you scallops if you want scallops. Scallops, scallops, whatever. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him to pick up your favorite food. Peaches? No. <laughs> Tacos? No. Bobby's at 28. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Shrimp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Isn't that your favorite food? <laughs> well, it is now. Chocolate covered strawberries. No, I don't want chocolate covered strawberries. Okay, Bobby's at 28. Jill, you want to go 30 or you want to go out scallops with white wine sauce and wild rice? I'm in. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have jasmine rice. So we'll do it jasmine rice cooked with some fresh ginger. Yum. $30 to Jill. Thank you, Jill. 32 to Bobby. Susan's like, sounds good. What time? Ooh, salmon is a good idea too. Salmon's yummy. Okay, Bobby. Yep, garlic and shrimp. Mm-hmm. Garlic, shrimp, and um, um, ginger. So good. Okay, we're going to call it to Bobby. Jill, you out, honey? $32 to Bobby. It's the guest purse. My Instapot cooks for me. $32 to Bobby. Out to Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much. All right. Let me just put your name in it. $32. To Bobby. Put the guest purse. You got awfully quiet all the time, all of a sudden, Argyle. Well, you always talk about food. I was eating some chips. Okay, let me go get maybe um, one or two more things. Okay, I am going to do another double piece lot of this beautiful jewelry from Nordstrom's. This one is very similar to that other one I had. It does not have a price tag. The other one had a $138 price tag on it. Um, so here's this one. I'm going to do them. I'm going to start them off both of them together for $30. There's this one. That's all one necklace. And the name on it, I have to look because I can't remember. Sequent. This one has a $125 price tag. This is a Nordstrom brand. And here is this one. I hate untangling. I hate untangling. $30 for both pieces, you guys. Shipped. Both pieces. Jill, I'm going to have more of this stuff. I just sold two pieces earlier that were like, one of them was like $168 marked. We have Jill at 30. Okay, I can't untangle it. I don't have, okay, I did it. I was going to say, I don't have the patience, which is why my jewelry jars are always a tangled mess. Oh, she says, I know I saw it. Okay. Okay, this one, this one here, you're going to have to untangle, but this is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. And it has um, the price tag on it. So that's one. You get, So you get one and then here's two. And it has the name on that little tag. And there's two. And Tammy comes in at 35. And this is a mess too. You're going to have to, when you photograph it, untangle it. Oh, I think I untangled it. Well, for the most part, 37 to Jill.
There you go. And there it is in all its glory. Maybe not all. Let me see. There it is. 42 to Tammy. Forty-four to Joe. Thanks, ladies. That's beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? You could wear it with any outfit, right? It's got every color in it. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I couldn't. Even. No, I mean, I, I. It wouldn't fit you. No. Forty-six to Tammy. I'd look like a tangled mess. But it is real. They, these pieces are really beautiful. All right, we're at $46 to Tammy. I'll put that one down and I'll show you this one. Let's see if I can completely untangle it for you. This is the only part that needs to be untangled. Looks like something Cleopatra would wear. Yes. But absolutely beautiful for just like a black dress or a black sweater, a black top. You want to dress up something, you just put that on and you're dressed up, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. It's untangled. This one is the one that's marked 125. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. So $46 to Tammy for the two beautiful necklaces. Gosh, they're so expensive. I can't even believe. But it's Nordstrom, right? We have a Nordstrom right here. Do you have Nordstroms in your area, Argyle? Well, yeah. Where do you think I came from? I'm fancy. <laughs> two necklaces. $46 to Tammy. Um, $46 to Tammy. Let me just mark this. Tammy. $46. Lot number 11. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate it. Um... I have clothes, but I can't get to them because that big, huge thing of plush is in the way. I'll try to do clothes later on. What's if I come on later on? Here, I'm going to, I was able to reach around and grab a bag. So let's see. I don't even know what's in here. Let's see what's in here. <clears throat> okay. Let's start it at $25 shipped. This is an old Navy stretch size 14 blue denim skirt. Size 14. Be right back. Okay, April. This one is new with tags, size 14, same thing, 14 denim um, stretch skirt. Old Navy sells, you guys. $25 shipped. This one is Tommy Hilfiger, size medium, just a cute little pink Tommy Hilfiger skirt. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, slip into my water. This one is <clears throat> a two piece. It's Adidas. It has a black X on it. So I don't know if maybe sometimes they do that when they're in the factory, but it's a tennis, it's a tennis shirt with a tennis skirt really cute 
tennis clothes are really expensive. And another skirt. And this one is not, oh, yes, it is. I was going to say not tagged. East of LA. <coughs> Excuse me. East of LA. And a Cherokee. It's a skirt. It's a plaid Cherokee skirt and it's stretch. I think Cherokee is like a Walmart brand. I'm not sure. And here's another Cherokee skirt. Same, same skirt, just different color. These are some Daisy Dukes, Vanilla Star Festival shorts. And they have vintage denim collection. They have the tag on them. So they're new with tags. Sizes. Jill wants to know sizes. Sorry, Jill. This one is a size. This is a size three. This is a size three. All the skirts were size 14. The tennis outfit is size small. And that's it. And the skirts were all 14. All 14 on the skirts. What in good Lord is this? Good Time Jeans Company. It looks like, it looks like a top that kind of like buttons in the front. I guess you would have a good time if you wore this. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's big girl size. It doesn't have a tag on it. I don't know. It doesn't have a tag on it. Oh, and it has, it has matching. It has match. It's a set it has matching pants. Good time. And it's a size 3X, 3X, good time jeans. I don't know. <clears throat> and this is a denim jacket. It's called Gold Flava, size 22. The collar is really pretty. It's all studded. And it's a denim jacket, size 22. Gold Flava is the name on it. Can't say I've ever heard of it. This one is a Hilfiger Athletics. I don't know if it's vintage or not. It's a size extra large. Has the big graphic in the front. I think the ones with the big graphics in the fronts might be the vintage ones. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I used to know, but I don't know anymore. This one is Cynthia Rowley size medium. It's just a pretty cotton, stretchy blue. That's the back. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like it was just laundered. And that's the front. Little blue dress. Is anybody bidding on this? We've got Pat at 25. Okay. Thank you, Pat. And then we have these South Pole denim, South Pole denim distressed, lots of stuff going on with these pants. And they're men's size 44. Men's size 44, acid washed, lots going on. Pants. And then we have these white, these feel brand new. Josephine Choss, size 16. I think this is a Macy's brand. These are brand new. They've never been washed. They just don't have the tag on them. Um, they, they still have the sizing in them. You can tell they've never been in the laundry. And the last item is a bathrobe. Dolores put this lot together. 
<clears throat> I can tell by the way she put the, the tag, the tie on the bathrobe. It's apartment nine, size large. Comes with the, it's just a, just a pretty, oh, it's got the price tag on it. So it's brand new with tags. Size large. There you go. Bathrobe. So that is a total of one, two, three. The dress is four. Tommy Hill figure is five. The size, this jacket, Salva something is six. The outfit, this plus size 22 cheetah outfit. That Peter 27 and Don being inappropriate. Seven, huh? What's a Peter five? 27 and Don being inappropriate. Okay. <laughs> the tennis. I don't know. It was eight, I think. 10, 49. Nine. Ten, Susan's eleven. Susan's coming in at 31. Ten, eleven. Twelve. I think you got to be quicker than that. I think like 13, maybe 14, 15, 16 pieces, give or take a piece, you guys. I kind of lost count. Yeah, Pat at 33. <clears throat> Thank you, Pat. And Pete comes right back in at 35. Um, April's back. April's back. Pete, thank you. Pat, thank you. And Susan, thank you. Everyone who's bidding. We've got Susan coming in at 37. Pat, again, you're going to have to be quicker than that. <laughs> I, I have an Argyle sock calling my auction for Pete at 39. We've got Pat at $3,339. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And Pat corrects herself at 39 and she's late again. So let's get going, Pat. My husband. Tacos, yeah. He likes Robin. He loves tacos. He loves tacos. And he likes Robin. And he likes Robin, but he loves tacos. He's like, we didn't get a chance to do Taco Tuesday last night. I think I'm just going to make tacos tonight because the kids really enjoy it. He puts out this incredible spread. Like he has all the ingredients. You know, he puts them all out on the island and he toasts the shells. Or yeah, the there's stuff. an auction going on, Donna. Hey, Pat, <laughs> would you like to come to 41? Oh, Susan Stricker's in at 41. So he lays everything out and the kids come along. and you got know, paid at 43. Yeah, that's an auction. <laughs> and they pick, and he does a really good job with the meat part of it. He uses turkey, ground turkey. Yeah, it's Susan at 45. I think he uses a, a package. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <clears throat> the tacos and thing. Pat is out. She says, no, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Pete's at 47. Yeah, Pete at 47. I got this. <laughs> Look at auctions for you. You've oh, been no. A sock. Hi, Pete. You could never be replaced, he. Saki's doing great. <laughs> oh, God. So we've got Pete at 47. I do. I have a Pete joke. You do? You, know, you probably won't get it, but here, here goes. Probably not. So listen carefully. Okay. Pete and repeat were sitting on a fence. Pete fell off the fence. Who's left on the fence? What's his name? Who's left on the fence? Pete. No, Pete fell off the fence. And who was the other guy? Repeat. Repeat? Yeah. So repeat was left. Who? Repeat. <laughs> Pay attention, Donna. Pete and repeat were sitting on a fence. Pete fell off. Who's left on the fence? Repeat. <laughs> Pete and repeat were sitting on the fence. We could, go on, we could go on all night. I finally we got could. it. We could. Yeah, we could go on all night. You know we who could. loved that joke is Adam. Yeah. Oh, girl is doing fabulous. Shh, don't tell T. No. <laughs> okay, so Pete, is that, so is that Pete or is that repeat? That's Pete. That's Pete. He's definitely not on the fence. He knows he wants this lot. He wants it for $51. 
Connie, okay, the plush lot I won. Send the turtle to Anita Ross. Let's see, Connie won. I think this one is the one with the ninja. Ninja to Anita. Okay, got it. I shall do that. Okay, <clears throat> so we are $51 to Pete Gallagher. Susan? You got $53? I think she's out. Is she out? Oh, no, she didn't write she's out. She's out. She did. She wrote out. So we've got Pete at $51 for the clothes. Going once. Going once. Going twice. Going twice. Going two and a half times. All right. Two and a half times it is. And sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Two Pete for $51. Lot number 12. Thank you, Pete. Thank you so much. Lot number 12. Sock put a cork in it. Oh, Dawn. Oh, Dawn. Okay, watch out. I'm going to get one more purse. Dawn and needs a diaper time. changed. What time is it? Is it time to go to teas? La, 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 la. It's 7 o'clock. Thanks, Jill. I'm not a holy sock. Thanks, April. I need to get some new material. Get it? <laughs> I don't know, Cajun. I don't have any holes yet. Some of my older family members have holes. I am, Susan. That's a good one, Connie. I get it. Deals, I see that you said you found your missing sock. I wish I could find my missing sock. Now that would be a show. Okay, I'm going to do these um, these clips. Welcome back, Miss Donna. Thank you, dear. These Thank are beautiful. You. Okay, there's, let me see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. Five, six. I'm gonna I'm gonna divide them up into two lots of six. No, so Bobby, her birthday is May 14th. May May 14th is my birthday. Who wants to know? Is today's she, Donna's birthday? Oh no, it was the other Donna's birthday. Okay, I am gonna start these off at ten dollars a shipped. All right, I'll show you what I got. They're barrettes and clips. Oops, let me put myself on screen. Ten dollars shipped. And here's the first one, and it is a clip. They're really... I know who needs that. Who? Ronnie G. Right? They're very, very well made. This is enamel, and it has rhinestones in it. It's like a jewel. It's really beautiful. Okay, that's the first one. This is the second one. If you're a reseller, yeah. this is going to sell in a second because people love dragonflies and it's a clip and it's the, the finish on it. It's made so beautiful. Really nice hair equipment. Yes, it is very nice hair equipment. Look at how pretty that is. It's a good job. You got Connie in the 
Okay. And well, we have this one is a French clip. Oh, we really? It's like a plastic. We got Connie right back in at 14. Mother of Pearl. And this one, clip made in France. Those are some fancy clips. Very pretty. It's not funny, Dawn. We're not funny at all today. Oops. We got Melissa in at 16. This one needs a little bit of glue. It's not broken. It just needs a little bit of tacking right there. So a little probably super glue will fix that. See if I hold it with my finger. And it's a French clip. And the last one in this lot is this one. So they're all very beautiful. <laughs> Butterfly, what are you laughing at? Nothing. I'm not looking. Don't. What? <laughs> 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 what are you laughing at? Hey, Donna. What? <laughs> what what did I miss? I can't do it. <laughs> What is it? Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> anyway, I can't do it. Out. I Melissa, can't do it. Hi, Melissa. Is it 16? What's Christine egging you on to do it for? And April's laughing. What did I miss? Tell me. Nothing. You're fine. We <coughs> got okay, Melissa at 16. You're choking. Do I have 18, anybody? You're not even going to tell me? Was it... Who's I even got Tamara in at 18. Oh, Argo can't point to her head. No arms. Yes, I know that. Well, maybe you can do it for me, Miss Donna. No. Christine's like, I'll take the blame. It's my fault. Do you still not see what the joke is? No. Really? No. Okay, I'll save it for later. I'm on the other show. <sighs> TikTok sock. I have no well, there's, idea. There's a million dollar idea. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so we have... We have Tammy in at 18. Yeah. Does anybody want to do 20 for the hair equipment? <laughs> no, you're kidding, April. Oh, my gosh. As long as the one in Italy, in Sicily, doesn't start. <clears throat> right, Dana? Because my, my family lives in Shidiale, which is like right next to Catania. Matthew Jones. Okay, thank you. Okay, so are we going to close this to... Tamara to 18. Tammy to $18. Anybody else want to come in for the hair equipment? Yes, I heard that, Deals. We were wondering how you were doing. Yes, we're near Catania, too. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to close it to Tammy for $18. We are sold, sold, sold to Tammy for the hair equipment for $18. I don't know what's up with these earthquakes. I think everybody's just on edge and extra sensitive. Um, and it's lot number 13, Tammy. Lot number 13, and my earth moved. Thank you, Tammy. Okay, and this is the second lot of hair equipment that I have this evening. 
<clears throat> the first one is this, and we're going to do this at the same price. Let me see. How do you do this? Uh, this is this has got a, a broken piece, so <clears throat> you won't be able to resell it. I don't know if you want to keep it for personal use or to uh, or to. It's really beautiful. Or to <clears throat> you can put it on a plant. I mean, there's different things that you can do with it, but it does have a broken piece. I just noticed that one of the teeth is broken on it but I'll show you how beautiful it is. $10 to start. So that's one. <clears throat> this one's made in France. Two. Three. This is beautiful. It's like a jewel. This is more like a ponytail holder. I love this. It is so pretty. <clears throat> Four. Five. And this is just a metal one. Very simple. But it's metal. Six. Six pieces of hair equipment. And we've got Connie and a $10. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to put them away. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We've got Connie at 10. Does anybody want to do 12? Or should we close it to Connie? We are going to close it to Connie for ten dollars. Hair equipment. We got Tammy in at twelve. Uh oh, we closed it to Connie. We already closed it to Connie. Connie comes in at fourteen. I mean, you guys, I already closed it to Connie, but I mean, you know, and Tammy comes. Oh, they're in. not done fighting. They're still, they're still fighting. They're not done. This is a first at closing auction and they're still fighting over it. <laughs> All right, we got Tammy at 16. Thank you, ladies. I'm not going to say no for the extra $4. It will pay for the shipping. <laughs> On Donna, it. What? 10 plus 6 is an extra $6. An extra $6, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Earthquake in Calabria. Oh, gosh. That's like too close to home right there. Why are all these earthquakes happening? All the humans sneezing? I don't know. Gosh, that's scary. Okay, we're going to call it to Tammy for $16 for the hair equipment. <clears throat> and Connie's out, so we got it to Tammy. And... You know they're going to fight about who... We're sold to Tammy for $16. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. Oh, stop it, Jill. That's not true. Lot 14. To Tammy for $16. <clears throat> Okay, it is 7.13. You guys, you got like two minutes. What a time did T say? 7.15? Do you remember? Um, yeah. Is she on? Hi, Jonathan. How am I supposed to know? Oh, you have no arms. You can't look. You guys, I'm going to end the stream. And we are going to go over to see my text above. Okay. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. So we, we're going to give that to Connie for $10. Thank you, Tammy. <clears throat> 
And where have you been, Jonathan? He's been out tramping around. Connie for $10. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate that. Okay. So go to T's now. Yes, Christine. Go to T's now. I think she's probably going to be going live any minute. And I'll see you guys in there. I'll be pulling numbers for um, the chat. And then we're going to be going to Bolo Buddies after that. So we got a full lineup tonight. We're going to be going to Bolo Buddies after that. We're going to support Courtney and watch Bolo Buddies for a little while. And then right back to Robin's channel tonight yeah. for two more giveaways of the uh, of the boxes. And we might just might maybe show some stuff. And okay. <laughs> Tammy, you're so funny. I'm so glad that you did that for Connie. Thank you. So I get I get kind of like when that sort of thing happens, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So that's why it's it's good to always type sold in the chat so that and I don't always do that. Matthew Jones says, I will try to keep up. Yes, Matthew, we are kind of like all we're bouncing around um between There's channels. Um, Bobby, did she go live? Time to move over. All right, you guys, go flood the gates over there. Thank you so much. It was great fun this afternoon. I really appreciate you all being here, and I will see you all soon. Bye.